wait, wait for it. Wait for wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Monty. Huh? What's nine what? plus ten? Twenty-one. <laughs> you did it. Correct. Careful, 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 God, my favorite joke will always be like, SpongeBob, stop! We don't have to be this way. We have technology. We're not cavemen. <laughs> we have technology. <laughs> Just start beating it. And and I'm upset. Why, SpongeBob? Because of this thing. Why are you upset, Patrick? Because I can't see my own forehead. Yep. <laughs> are I'm you sorry. bad telling Patrick? It like it is. Yeah. Why? Why is that? I can't see my forehead. God. I don't have anything witty to say. I'm just here. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the Unexpectables, episode two. Two eighty-one. <laughs> careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! <laughs> it's oh the funny God. number. It's the funny number. Hello, everybody. We're it's the funny here. number with our very special guest, Distortion God, Devil. Yeah! It's not the. It's a distortion devil sausage. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's we got a burst. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh man! Hello, everybody. Yeah. How we'll, many more back at it. will it blow? That's two, Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> will I blow? The mind. answer I can't say on stream. <laughs> yeah, I know. Thanks, Spongebob Plus sponsor. I feel like our Twitch rep is just like sweating their finger hovering <laughs> above the ban button. Just like. Germa is on this platform. I think we're fine. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, careful. You don't want to summon him. John Susguy? <laughs> John Sus guy. My favorite thing will always be like we we took all the databases of serial killers and merged them into one person. It's just a picture of German. It's just a picture of German. <laughs> <laughs> like, God, we give the Sorry. man a break. Come on. That man oozes charisma. It's fucking outstanding. I learned photography from him. He had a clip where he was explaining how photography works, and I was oh, like, it taught I thought you more. meant like literally, like you had tutoring sessions. With no, him he had a video. He had a video where he was taking pictures of dogs as part of a game, and he explained like how to actually like composite photographs to make them look appealing. And I learned a lot in a very brief amount of time from just this random man. He's not a random man. He's, he's German. He's German. I'm very sorry. <laughs> he ate a rock once. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, All right. Man. Well, let's go around the horn and introduce ourselves. Uh, let's go Jerma, ahead and where start can with they find you, you and what are you up to? <laughs> I'm always first. No one knows. <laughs> it's alphabetical, yeah. isn't it? It is. Oh, okay. Well, fuck me then. <laughs> hey, everyone. Uh, Gaijin Goomba here. You can catch me every Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. U.S. Central Time over at twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba, no H, because that's a really old joke. Um, So... I openly admit I will steal Zito's ideas from time to time because he's just that damn good of a streamer. And so while he had to suffer through uh, Brant, I'm having to suffer through Daikatana uh, this Saturday oh. at 7 p.m. U.S. Central. I have never played it. Who's what do you mean suffer? Dylan? It's going to be a great time. <laughs> Who's going to be your Dylan, Gaijin? I... When wins your Dylan moment? Probably when I'm introduced to the NPC assistants that I hear get caught up on trash. So, can we change your name to Daijin Goomba for the stream? Uh, if you so desire. Yeah. Someone Excellent. made a curse, Gaijin Goomba Dylan. Don't, don't, don't fuck with it. Yeah, I've <laughs> I've seen that and I hate so very much. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna become John Romero's bitch. Uh, this this uh this Saturday at seven. After that, um, unless I miss my guess, I think uh, Dark Tide has early access, so I'm probably gonna be streaming that. If not that, I'll probably be doing a build stream. I haven't done one of those in a very, very, very long time. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on there. If you have not yet, I just put out a video last Sunday uh, with this wonderful lad, Pancreas Snow Work. 
Uh, that is his name. He's amazing. His baritone is fantastic. Um, he's a Halo slash Warhammer YouTuber. We talked about how the tower, not weebs, you 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 absolute cretins. Uh, they're Chinese. B there's a big difference. Yeah. And it's actually really scary because GW didn't do it on purpose. That's the most scary thing of all. Um, so that's what I've been up to. Uh, Patreon poll is up. It's probably going to be a Witch Samurai on um, Yamato Man from Mega Man 6 and uh, Battle Network. So that's going to be fun. I think that's everything out of me. <sighs> it's It's weird. Ion Storm has two games that changed the, the gaming landing landscape forever. There's Deus Ex, which is widely considered to be a masterpiece. And then there's Dai Katana, which is arguably one of the worst games of all time. I can't, God. I cannot wait to be killed by my own guns. You I cannot like... get any more hit or miss than that. <laughs> I feel like you guys are, are, are overselling it. It's probably gonna be fine. Uh, uh... <laughs> that's cute. It can't be that bad. Mm. Uh, <laughs> that, 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 that's adorable. Oh. Well, when, when, M Mark, when you're not being a, 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 a skeptic, uh, what are you up to? Uh, I'm being a skeptic. Uh, you can <gasps> find me skepticizing on twitter.com at Mark Allen Jr. until it explodes. <laughs> you can find me here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. And you can follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny on Instagram at chonk for life. Uh, it'll still be dark for me for a few more days. Uh, hopefully I will be getting back into streaming next week. However, um, I have started a new directing position. So my time is once again, not as free as it once was, but I promise I've taken my break and I'm ready to start streaming again. I, my one announcement will be that we will not be continuing to stream Digimon Survive. Uh, unfortunately, it is just, it's so much reading. I mean, it's its yeah. just the visual novel. Um, and I, I, I can't just read for four hours. I can't do it. Uh, so apologies to anyone who was enjoying that, but we will be coming back with some exciting stuff that I will announce at a later date. That's it for me for now. Oh, wait, that's not it. Sorry. Uh, watch uh, Blue Lock, the English dub, on Crunchyroll every Saturday. Uh, the most recent episode got a lot of my character Kuan in it. And the next episode will have even more. Uh, things are getting exciting. Oh, if you don't follow the storyline and you're only watching the dub, I won't spoil it for you. But just know, cool things are coming. Just like winter. That's it. But that's cool. What do you mean it's coming? It's already fucking here. Yeah, really, Mark. Where have you been? Um, it's not meteorological winter yet, y'all. Gotta wait till December. I don't. I don't adhere to your weird wizard magic. I, I don't adhere to your magic. I don't adhere to your weather science. is wizard magic. I'm a fucking wizard. <laughs> I pay. I pay attention to the solstice, Mark. I don't know about you. The solstice I... is also in December. Fuck you, Mark. For <laughs> <all right. laughs> How dare you say things? How dare you be correct, technically, you bureaucrat? <laughs> uh, Zito, when, when you're not being subjected to abominations, where can they find you? Well, you could find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito, where... The tithe has been paid. I no longer have to play Brats. <laughs> Brats. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, Brats. TM. Flaunt your fashion. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's done. It's it's dead. I can put it to bed now. I can play actual games. Like actually tonight, I plan on streaming. Uh, after this, uh, I do plan on either playing Carts or Jabroni Brawl. And I fucking like I keep hyping up Jabroni Brawl, and I can't fucking hype it up any further. It has to be played before Friday, which is Pokemon, and I will be streaming that too. Uh, beyond that, uh, about my comic has gotten an update literally like last night. If you haven't seen it, please check it out. Uh, beyond that, homebrew stuff will happen as it gets done. Right on. Uh, mm, Edward Bosco, where can they find you and what are you up to? You can find me at Ed Bosco VM, on both Instagram and Twitter, and right here on, on Twitch.tv slash Ed Bosco. Time! I don't okay. know, no, folks. He seemed a little off his game today, a little out of breath. There's people in chat talking about Dylan. 
He really puts no. the run in speed. Yes. Hey. Yes. If I need to be cursed, you all need to as well. And Monty Glue, where can they find you? What are you up to? Oh my god. You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Tomorrow will be more Dungeon the Mad Mage. Um, I don't want to spoil what happened, but uh, Bracky is in a toilet with a monster, and we gotta figure that out. Um, <laughs> huh. <laughs> you ever get attacked when you're in the middle of pooping? Well, that happened to Bracky. It is one of Bracky. life's greatest fears. It is, it is really. Um, so uh, come and check that out, because it's a lot of fun, and it's very funny. Uh, you also don't need to watch previous episodes. It is a dungeon crawl. That is all that it is. Uh, but if you do want to check out the other parts, it is on my YouTube channel. Which, by the way, my YouTube channel is at Monty Blue as well. Same thing. Uh, so check that out, too. Um, Monday should be Mass Effect here pretty soonish. I'm just waiting for some art resources. And if not, then it'll be Mario Kart. But uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. Right on. Uh, and they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, this Sunday will be the finale of the Legacy of Cain series playthrough. Uh, we're finishing up Defiance and thus the series as a whole. So far, there are rumors that there may be something happening in the future. One would know. I have no idea. But... We can only remain hopeful. Uh, yeah, I'm also working on my Ranger subclass. That'll be out on my DMs Guild uh, when it's finished. Uh, that's all I can think of for me at the moment. Uh, this episode was brought to you by our wonderful sponsor, Die Hard Dies. Shit, I Die Hard Dies! Sweet now! Oh, jeez! Uh, oh, Die Hard Dies. One stop shop for dice and dice accessories. So if you head on over to dieharddice.com, you can use the code IEXPECTABLE to save 10% on your order for you should have a diehard dice. Also, they make fantastic Christmas presents, like really fantastic Christmas presents. Yeah, you run, if you are you get playing? a Christmas present, you probably ought to get it now. Yes, order now before Black Friday starts. Seriously, do it. Legitimately, because like, things legitimately? are going to get stuffed in the mail. The moment Black Friday goes off, everything's going to take a million years to get to you. So if you're interested in Die Hard Dice, they make a fantastic gift. You can get it for a friend. You get it, you know, colors based off of their character. You can get a dice tray for your dungeon master. Fantastic gifts, fantastic service, and really, really nice dice. I've been using Die Hard Dice for the entirety of Campaign 2. And I love them. If I I love them so much, I wish I could eat them. But you cannot eat Die Hard Dice. Bro, in here, I was about to make, here I was about to make a gag about how you can capture Santa by putting one in his cookie and choking the bastard. <laughs> Do not eat Die Hard Dice. <laughs> I got yeah, you. Do, do you not use Die Hard Dice to choke Santa? Yeah, use use the D4s from Die Hard Dice to make caltrops on the ground to trap Santa. Yes. Monty, why? Why are because, we all being? Why are you all putting Because he has it coming. <laughs> what did he do? Y'all screw up a couple years and get a bunch of coal, he's, and suddenly you have it out for Santa. He's got the stuff. I want to become the next Santa Claus, and the only way to do that is to kill a girl. <laughs> do you want to? <laughs> so you want to be a fat bearded I man? I shall drink your yeah. divinity, fat man. Uh, Monty's been uh, watching too many Tim. I Allen want movies. a goblin versus elf war for me. Was that so fucking much to ask for? <laughs> As a treat. Uh, <laughs> before before we move on to the bits and the subs tonight, I actually do have another announcement. I told you guys. We got some fun and exciting Unexpectables related announcements coming down the pipeline and they're not done yet. Still got more after this one, but prepare your butts for this one, chat. Oh. For those of you who were fans of the art streams, I've got some good news for you because next week they're coming back, baby. Yeah. Oh shit. That's right. Next Friday, the 25th, uh, uh, Christmas. Uh, uh, art streams are coming back. I'm going to be hosting them as per the usual. Uh, we're thinking that for the time being, at the least, uh, the art streams will be on a monthly basis. So it'll be on the last Friday of the month starting this month. 
So if you got some art pieces you want to get in before the 25th, get them in now. Uh, I will be reviewing uh, most of the uh, art pieces and other pieces of fan work for the month of November. Remember, remember. For the 25th of November. <clears throat> Gunpowder, treason, and art. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I always remember the 25th of November. Do you makes remember? Makes me want to fart. The 25th uh, night of November. We, we need so, the, uh, yeah. Be on the lookout for that. Um, and there there are more announcements to come uh, in, in the coming weeks. You want to announce our uh, current, we have a little funny All right. short video channel. Yeah, we've, we've got oh, a TikTok boy. now. It's a TikTok. We're hip now. We're with the youth. We're hip with the kids. Uh, a hip, a hip, a hip, a ticky to the tick, tick tock, and you don't stop rocking to the back. Yeah, you can you, you can find us on TikTok at the Unexpectables official. Uh, we're uploading uh, our shorts there as well, and they're they're doing pretty well, as a matter of fact. So yeah, yet another place uh, to catch some Unexpectables content. I can't believe the toilet clip has 5,000 views. It's so good. <laughs> it's terrifying. Truly a horrific sight to behold. The worst thing I've ever seen in all my years of d and so Indeed, cool. indeed. No one heard my joke. <laughs> sorry. 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 I just wasn't sure how to react to it. Good. That's actually what I wanted. <laughs> In that note, uh, let's go ahead and read off some business. Business. We've got the ball guy with the 21 months. 21 months, let's go. And W. Joe, thank you for the 32 months. Papusa Monkey, thank you for the 32 months. I've been sick all day. Time for warm soup and silly D&D shows that I watch on Wednesdays. Oh, soup sounds The Tolves, thank you for the 32 months of tier two. 21. Lord Commissar Manslaughter, thank you for the 28 months. Been having a tough day. <laughs> Had to put down my 12-year-old great Py Pyrenees. You guys oh, helped so me put a smile on my face. Sorry to hear that, buddy. Hopefully we can make you smile in this rough time for you. Captain Actually, thank you for the 32 months. Earliest Bread, thank you for the 32 months. Norviticus, thank you for the 12 months. Happy sub -aversary. Jai Kaisen, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Pan Cactus, 27. Mr. Insecure, thank you for the 32 months. Looking forward to episode 20 win. Uh, Divine Devil, thank you for the 30 months. The Unexpectables was my intro to d and I thank you for changing a portion of my life. 20 win! Yeah! <laughs> the number! <laughs> uh, Undead Jester, thank you for the uh, 20 bits. First time live. Well, welcome. Win. Night Neptune, thank you for the 19 months. Cobalt with 100 blades. Thank you for the 32 months. I hope everyone's doing good. Love this campaign so far. Can't wait to see where it goes. That's a lot of uh, blades. More Thrandor. Thank you for the uh, 117 bits. Waiting for Monty's space adventure on Mass Effect. Enjoy the games. Happy N7. Uh, Callum Draws. Thank you for the 31 months. Hard to believe how long it's been. Got our first snowfall of the year today. Yeah, well, ours was a couple of days ago. Oh my gosh. It's so cold. Ooh. Masamune, thank you for the 22 months. Sergeant Tucker, thank you for the 100 bits. My internet is sassing me, so I'll catch you northerners with your winter in the morning where Florida doesn't follow seasonal laws. Ah. I'm in Texas Starts snowing in Florida. It's all over. It's going to snow Biaco. in Texas this weekend. Zero no. seven one. Thank you for the thirty-two months. The winged one. Thank you for the thirty-two months. More unexpectables. Yay. Uh, Drago soon. Thank you for the one hundred bits. Level ten hype. Impervio Lunos. Thank you for the twelve months. Hello. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> uh, Drago soon. Thank you for the additional ten bits. Toilet attack. <gasps> Uh, Tix Dixel, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, guess who's ready for the formal Axe Peak naming ceremony? <laughs> oh. Yes, we we have to we have to break a, a, a bottle of champagne over their beaks <laughs> to officially oh christen them. That's and horrendous. if they don't break it, if they don't break, it's bad luck. 
That's all right. What, the peak or the bottle? <laughs> your choice, yes. Monty. It's your world. <laughs> Vote now on your phones. Uh, Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 100 bits. Speaking of Pokemon, you guys know what starters you're picking? I'm going with Fuecoco for At Scarlet and Sprigatito for Violet. I want Sprigatito. It's cute. I am only picking Cat because I'm following a convention that I always pick Grass Starter at every new uh, mainline. I'm usually Water, but I just Cat is cute. Quaxley is cute too, but I'm not a Duck fan. I'm sorry, Zito. Oh. I'm 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 a. What the all of <laughs> all of Anaheim is really mad at you right now. Quack. <laughs> Those mighty. Uh. Boys. Uh, like to Booyah, Thank you for getting a tier one sub. Z I'm gonna figure out how to spell this, or not spell this. I'm gonna figure out how to. Say this, Zebzi Bezabil. Thank you for the 30 months of tier two. The Nargakuga Tamer. Thank you for the 1,000 bits. Morthrandor. Thank you for the 100 bits. By the way, I'm rewatching Campaign One, and I just saw Remy's introduction. Fun times. That session was an absolute blast. Yeah. Almost death. Raw. So <laughs> yeah, lots of chickens. Raw Sodium, thank you for the uh, 100 bits. Just got my hands on the uncomfortable dice, like D9s, D17s, and even no. a D120. Ugh. That's so cursed. No. D17. Wait, hold up. D120s actually exist, and they're not as cursed as you think they are. It's a round number. No, but it's the a golf D9 ball. is horrible. Yeah, but it's a golf ball. It fucking sucks shit for actually getting a number correctly, but it still rolls. One of my players, I think, has a D30, and I'm like, why do you have this? <laughs> and he uses it, too. <laughs> Hello, I'm Logan. still waiting for the mythical D21. <laughs> uh, 20, 20 BMG, thank you for the 25 months. Revengerist, thank you for the 23 months of Prime. Uh, hello, I decided to look up information about numbers. Fun fact, the average person takes 11 seconds to count to 22, and in 2008, a world record was set for most people riding a skateboard with 22 people appearing in a Weezer music video. Huh. Okay. Yeah, but it's not 21. Nice try, Weezer. That is true. <laughs> the, 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 yeah. That's Weezer 22 <laughs> propaganda. 22. <laughs> you try hards. Killer Knight 007, thank you for the raid. Uh... X1X, last X1X. Thank you for the 150 bits. Hello, Unexpectables. Sadly, I cannot stay as I've just started watching the first campaign. Much love and hope the stream goes great. You this can stay. This is a perfect time to remind you that the first Unexpectables campaign has no bearing on this one. The continuities Absolutely are completely not. different. Uh, Dusk Ninja Kenji, thank you for the 200 bits. Reverb fart noise. Yeah. Mikan Pachi. Words backwards. Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 100 bits. Zito, you're a genius. Let's make and sell edible gummy dice. Y yes. But then you can't use them. Which sure, you can. Yes, you can. You use them. If they roll in a one, then you eat them. That's yeah. what they get. That's get, get Haribo like on the line. Let's go. No, <laughs> oh, God. God. No. Sugar free uh, dice. If you roll in that one, you have diarrhea for the rest of the day. Von uh, <laughs> <laughs> Von, thank you for the 30 months. Uh, I am now animating some D&D dialogue, going after one Mr. Quibbles and his world. Ooh, interesting. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Rat. The quiz. Joseph Catterson. In Cindy's Productions, thank you for the 21 months. Hope everyone's doing well. Hi. Uh. Hmm? Oh. Hi, Dropping Bits. I'm Dad. Thank you for the 19 months. It's me birthday. Happy birthday, Dad. Uh, <laughs> Protoss103, thank you for the five bits. When when Sky Toast sticker? Hmm. Hmm. That's a good taps, question. It is a taps question. chin knowingly. Uh, Protoss one hundred three. Thank you for the five bits. Uh, Sloth zero one three zero. Thank you for the thirty two months. Bubba Bob. Thank you for the four hundred bits. My last D and D session was the most stressful role play I've ever experienced. Can't wait to see how you guys top it. Uh, Deluna13, thank you for the 29 months. 29 months of my favorite group of D and dorks. Love you all. 20 win. Hey. Sailorless hey. Shadow, thank you for the 15 bits. Good morning. It's 5 a.m. here in uh, Latvia, and tomorrow is the Republic of Latvia Proclamations Day. Ooh. Wow. Nice. Ooh. Interesting. Congratulations. Ha happy, happy Proclamation Day. Uh... 
King Night Owl, thank you for the 100 bits. I always loved the art streams back in the day. Glad they're back. Yes. Uh, Glork Snack, Eater of Children. Thank you for the three months of Prime. If I want to eat my Die Hard Dice, you can't stop me. I mean, that is true. We've already done our part by saying that you shouldn't, so legally we're not liable. Yeah. So. Don't eat your dice. <laughs> do not. Go, go ahead and do whatever you want in Minecraft. Uh... <laughs> Protoss103, thank you for the five bits. Rewatching campaign one, also at Task Arc. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, that's, that's like halfway, that's like almost exactly halfway through the campaign, I think. Yeah, it is. Uh, X Wiley Willy, thank you for the 32 months. Azathoth Bloodfang, thank you for the 22 months. Yarg. And Zinlita, thank you for the, <laughs> thank you for the 100 bits. Ordinary sausage, D4 sausage, when? I mean, he literally <laughs> just did one about crayons. That is uh, true. I worry for him. Yeah. I really Mrs. do. Mrs. Sausage is probably at the end of her rope. Imagine if uh, she was the one in the YouTube comments for that one. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Sausage comments suggestions. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> It's just uh, one suggestion, and it's just the word stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, with that, uh, that's all we got for right now. So should we jump into a world of wonder? Like no other? Under uh, setting. Galvanizing. Under the shining come. I what? say we, uh, oh, I say we, oh, oh. wait, what? What? Oh, it's, oh. it's fine. We'll move on. It's what? Fine. It's fine. Okay. It's time to come. Bye, chat. Oh, Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> what? So, when last we left our adventurers, Kai Valentinius, Otho Valentinius, Iskan Seat Lolly, Gaius Agni, and Milo Brightbeam, the party is now set on their path to return to the accursed land of Eastendale, with a pearl of Necrecta in tow, in the hopes of reverting its power to restore the wretched land back to its normal state. After returning to Ozmir Harland, a disguised Rebu, and a full map of Martorallo, party had decided their course, and after receiving rations, water, and new axe beaks, the party looked northward to return from whence they came. So. As you guys awaken the following morning, a full rest concluded. You collect your things, your weapons, your spells, and prefer th prepare for the day ahead. And as you kind of make your way out of your bedrooms, a servant bows to each of you and goes, ah, good, yes, you're awake. Um, your beasts have been collected at the front of the estate. 
Oh, that was, that uh, was fast. It yes. has been a rush order as per a request by Ozomir Harlan, so of course it would be forthwith to have the Axe Peaks uh, brought quickly. I guess that makes sense. And thank you so much for doing so. Oh, I'm not responsible. I'm I'm, I'm a manservant, but um, oh. the uh, individual responsible is outside waiting your uh, assessment. Please follow me. And as you make your way outside of the building, you see currently the front door, uh, two axe beaks that you recognize in the form of Schloff and Hidian, the axe beaks that belong to Rebu. You see currently Rebu affixing uh, saddles to both of them. Um, a little dissimilar to horse saddles, horse saddles being a very thick leather. Uh, these saddles appear to be more of a sort of um, like light leather cloth based saddle. And as you make your way out, you see Ozemir Harlan currently drinking a morning cup of coffee, you assume. Uh, cane in one hand, his uh, pseudo dragon, winter wit on his shoulder. And you see currently the uh, older gentleman with the clipboard, who was uh, his purpose was to collect your goods, kind of standing there and kind of taking a note. As you walk forward, you then see four more axe beaks, each of which is being held by a, a leading halter rope by uh, four servants. It's worth pointing out, one of the axe beaks that you immediately see is what can be only described as an absolute beast. <laughs> um, it is a thick boy. That is the best way to describe it. If you've ever seen that statue of that bird that's, like, super thick. Bonnie, do you realize how much that doesn't narrow it down? I know. I gonna know. Say, there's quite a few of those. <laughs> is it like the, the huge fluffy chicken? Uh, like yes. Like a Brahmin chicken? Sure. Um, but the legs are weirdly, like, thick and toned. Like, it's, like, hyper-realistic, like, toned legs. With oh, these large talons boy. at the end. It's beef. This is a beefy bird. And it is like large and robust in the size. Next to that one, uh, you see another one that is currently like just like pulling at its reins. The servant's holding it, like looks kind of like wide eyed as this thing seems to be like chasing down butterflies and the servants being kind of pulled around by the the leads quite a bit as it's like just chasing down butterflies or random things the third one you almost miss because it's very tiny it's low to the ground it's just round it has no other shape but a circle <laughs> And its axe beak is narrow and then has like the tiniest little axe head at the end. It's so tiny. It looks like a little trumpet end. Um, but it's very cute. It's speckled black and white and it looks like it's got two eyes that look just bugged out. It looks like it's terrified for its life. It's just in a <laughs> constant state of existential crisis. Uh, and the last one you see uh, is a sort of auburn and red axe beak. And the servant holding the reins is like trembling. And all of you, what's everybody's passive insights? We have oh those? Gosh. Ten. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know there was a passive insight. I knew there was a passive wisdom. Yeah, it's basically just insight. 10 plus your modifier. Yeah. Oh. It, uh, um, Iskans is 16. Okay. It is 12. Uh, 14, I think? Okay. Uh, anyone who is above an 11 knows and gets this energy. You know, like, the danger lines around a JoJo character? Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, menacing. He has you killing get, intent. You get menacing intent from this axe beak. It has, like, these, like, it, it, it almost has, like, angry bird eyebrows and just, like, a deadly stare as it just stares forward at you and kind of, like, a try-me kind of energy you get. It's got man <laughs> eyes. Amazing. Ozomir Harlan turns to the five and goes... Well, these are the best birds I could get with your um, requirements at very uh, short notice, so I hope that they uh, do you well. They're well trained, um, and they're brave, some to a fault, um, but they are the best that I could procure in such a short amount of time. That's actually very impressive. Looking around at each one, just sizes and atmospheres all mixing together in this cacophony of, of feathers and fear. 
<laughs> okay, Gaijin, I, I know in my heart of hearts we know which ones we have to pick, but I just imagine that it's a smash cut to Milo on the biggest one and Gaius on the smallest one. I mean, <laughs> we don't have to take what... what oh, is, no, I know, no. but I, I but just, just the juxtaposition <laughs> alone. The law of contrast says... <laughs> Money. Uh-huh. I'm going to be dangerous. Uh, I, I want to approach the JoJo bird. Okay. And uh, off, offer it uh, offer it a ration. All right, roll a handle animal with disadvantage. Hey, you never know. Well, that's a nine. All right. <laughs> you handed the ration, and it daintily takes it. And you're like, oh, cool. And then it throws it to the ground and proceeds to just, like, like full-on secretary bird to start, like, kicking it and, like, smashing it and, like, stabs it five or six times with its axe. Then it stares at you, and then slowly eats it off the ground. It just did a fucking, like, Kirby, like, <laughs> suplex move. Was he yeah. checking for weapons? What was that? <laughs> Security check. He's making sure it was Security dead. Security check. <laughs> I, I like a bird that DPS checks for you. <laughs> I seems this one has a lot of fight in it. The, sec the, the servant holding me goes, yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> Uh, looking at Rebu, what does he think of this display? <laughs> As he's stroking Schloff, you think it's Schloff. He's stroking Schloff, he goes, You're the beautiful, you're the most beautiful. These guys have nothing on you. Don't even think about it. You're not, the same, you're not even the same category. They are so beneath you. You are so perfect. You are so perfect. He's just squishing their cheeks and their eyes are going in two different directions. <laughs> I just I just imagine there's a, a random it's like freaking Kevin from Up. Oh my god, yes. I have, I have, oh. I have, I approached the largest one. Okay. It just, like, as you approach, it, like, looks at you, like, cocks its head. And that is the rabbit thing where it, like, pushes its neck inwards, and it just has this weird, like, chin flap kind of thickness that just kind of nestles its head there, and it goes, Rah! Watch out, he's floofing. I'm gonna call you Pazuzu. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this beast is Pazuzu. I poke Pazuzu. Your hand just keeps going. <laughs> I've never been allowed to own a pet before. This is the greatest day of my life. Gaius, go ahead for me and roll a strength saving throw. Oh no! <laughs> I, I should be good at this. Don't say those words. You cursed me. Okay. As you hey. stick your hand inside, you feel it like almost like the 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 gravitational pull, like yanking you inwards. And you're like, no. And you pull and resist and it managed to bring your arm out from the abyss of the feathers. What, what is this thing? A freaking ooze? He has his own <laughs> gravitational pull. <laughs> Jesus. He's big. He's perfect. How's everyone else feeling at at, at this time? Uh mm. I'm lo I'm looking over the rest of our stock here. You see, there, were, uh, there was there was one that like looked like it was a scaredy cat. Yeah. No, there's one that's like chasing like anything that moves and is just like dragging this poor servant on the ground as it's like way running to around. Describe him would probably be he's vacant. He has the uh, zoomies. That's the he's small one. He's got the one. zoomies, and he seems like if you had a laser pointer, he would explode because oh, of the please, please, please tell me he makes the Goomy laugh. <laughs> it just runs around, and like the moment there's a change, like there's a leaf that blows, it immediately beelines it to that, and like starts like looking at it and like chasing it, and then drags its back. And the poor servant is just like, no, come here, come here, come here, no, no, and it's just getting dragged around on the ground as it's just running to and fro. I love him. You can take him if you want him. Oh no, e Iskan is like looking at all of them, kind of terrified. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm just. Mm. My, I'm just gonna systematically just because I've. Uh, I hate to be theoretically wasteful, but I, I just want to offer rations to each one just to see how they react. Okay. <laughs> you feed one to Pazuzu. Well, no, Pazuzu's been been spoken for. I'm. All I'm right. curious about the rest of them. It's just right, guys with his hand giving like the fucking Terminator thumbs up. <laughs> it's it's sticking out from the feathers. <laughs> from inside it. <laughs> it's got like a weird meaty human hand just <laughs> comes out from the middle and just 
It's like home <laughs> that <a> bush. <laughs> We're retreating back That's inside the, from whence Yeah, the it reverse came. Homer. <laughs> oh. Which one do you want to approach? You want to approach the one that's currently chasing a butterfly, the really tiny one, or the let's, one that let's, you let's fed go for, before? Let's go for the small boy. All right. As you go over to the small boy, it goes. <laughs> and that's, that's that's it, huh? <laughs> you give it food. Go ahead and roll a handle animal check. Sure. Let me crazy. take my ration off. Uh, regular. Uh, disadvantage. Uh, yeah, just, just a flat roll. Yeah. Seventeen. 17. Nice. All right. You hand it off and it like does the bird thing where it kind of throws its head back and just swallows it. And you hear. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. I, 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 I go to get water somewhere to give it something to drink. <laughs> <laughs> you pour I'm water into it and it's like. I'm like maneuver. <laughs> the cheeks fill it and you just hear. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's <laughs> drowning. <laughs> It's good. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, it's fine now. Yeah, good is a relative term. Well, he's not currently dead, so... It says, I, I, I wish to pet him. Will he let me? Yeah, you go and pet him. He's very downy and soft. Ooh. What, what, is, what is his name? <sighs> I, see, I had an idea, but... Now I warned you guys. I warned you guys. Don't conclude because you haven't met them yet. Oh, uh, I'll, I'll think of something. But uh, I, I guess this is the best one for me. It's a bit small, and I'm a bit small, and I guess that's fine. I guess uh, we're taking our stereotypes then. <laughs> <laughs> you asked for a small one. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> Iskan uh, is looking over at Rebu. Uh, you said he looks like he's on which one? He's on Schloff. He's on Schloff. Okay, so. Oh my god, I've forgotten the other one's name already. Hidian. How Hidian. dare you? Hidian. It's Schloff and Hidian. It's That's been just... like months. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, so seeing uh, Hidian un unridden, unrided, unmounted. Uh, Iskan's gonna slowly approach and kind of catch eyes with Rebu. Uh, okay. If you don't mind, uh, could I ride one of them? Yeah, of course. I mean, you want a quality bird, don't you? And he kind of slaps Hidian twice on the back, and each time he smacks it, the eyes kind of bulge every time. <laughs> <laughs> like those little squeezy toys? Yeah, like the squeezy toys. He goes, <laughs> freshly saddled, too. It'd be nice and comfortable. Yeah, and I know these ones won't eat me. He'll slowly approach. Uh, have we seen how Rebu approaches the birds? Uh, very lovingly. That's the best way to describe his approach for any of these birds. Okay. Iskan will kind of try and mimic what he's seen in the past as he approaches Hidian. And try and make sure that he's not surprising him by, by approaching. Okay. Roll, roll a handle animal check. 16. Okay. You go up and he kind of, like, for a moment he, like, steps away from you, kind of looking you up and down in, like, a nervous bird manner. And then as you kind of stroke his feathers, he kind of, like, his back neck feathers kind of ruffle and, and flex and you kind of pet him. And he seems very calm with you. He seems to like you quite a bit. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> uh, he will kind of spend some time uh, getting to know the bird a little bit better before he decides he's going to just jump up on top. Okay. Uh, all the while kind of making eye contact with Rebu to make sure that he's doing things the right way. It's easy enough. Uh, Rebu does mount up on Schloff, kind of adjusting the saddle and kind of holding the reins. Um, and it, Schloff seems pretty good about it. Uh, as you get on, it's actually much easier than getting on like a horse. They're a little bit lower to the ground. And then they kind of raise their full stature once you're mounted. Okay. He'll, he'll kind of stabilize himself as they raise and get comfortable in the saddle. Okay. That still leaves three Axe Beaks with needing riders. I believe... Milo, are you taking the, the small one? I believe so. Okay. <laughs> you're going to be over That'll there leave pondering just two left. Orb. 
that leaves two left. The one that's still chasing a butterfly, and the one that just is just there's a weird sort of <laughs> like <laughs> the <laughs> ground <laughs> is slightly <laughs> trembling. <laughs> and... <laughs> well, brother, what do you think? The energetic one or the stoic one? I don't know. Flip a coin. Coin. Then you get to Lady Luck. Then uh, I'll I'll pull out a silver. Okay. And I'll I'll, I'll just take one of these uh, Canadian funny money. Oh, oh no, no, this is a quarter. Oh, the Monopoly money. Shut up. <laughs> I love it. The maple money. Let's see. Heads is the big boy. Tails is the energetic one. No, Tails so going for the big boy. <laughs> you're going for the big boy? All right, you're going for the violent one? Going for, going for the JoJo pose one. Roll an intimidation check. It's a pillar man in disguise. <laughs> cool. Just Roll giant. an intimidation check? Yeah. Giant text appears above the bird that says, Oh, so you're approaching me. Uh, all right. Here I go. Watch out, he's going to roll level <laughs> one you. Okay. You walk up to it and everyone watches as this exchange happens as you approach it and it kind of like sizes you up. And as you walk over to the saddle and kind of bring yourself up, it's pretty okay. He actually tolerates you. Hmm. You yet live. You yet live. I spared your life on a whim. Nothing <laughs> 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 more. <laughs> His voice. <laughs> That's his voice. Uh, yeah, I'll, sure. Why not? I'll just, uh, I'll lean down and I'll just give it a, a gentle little pat with my hand. Hmm. As you pat it, it like slowly turns and looks at you, and the eyes narrow as if to say, "How dare you?" <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We're Which gonna have to work on some boundaries, Walker. Naming it Walker. Mm-hmm. After Johnny Walker Blue Label. Hey. Okay. That leaves the distracted one for Kai. <clears throat> Honestly, it'll work. It'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it wants to be glue, it'll do. That's always my What you don't know it's is that the bird spider climbs on ceilings. <laughs> How do you approach uh, this beast? Kai is going to walk over with a ration in hand, but he's going to bite off a part of it. I don't know, one of the fashy ra rations, maybe like a piece of jerky. He's yeah. going to chew it up first to make sure that it's very small pieces, and then he's going to kind of regurgitate, spit it out in front of the axe beak. <laughs> like... <laughs> like a dog eating its own vomit, it runs over excitedly oh. and begins to eat it off the ground, and then like goes over to you and like a mother hen, like just kind of tries to like, like, adopt you. <laughs> Kai will repeat the process for the whole piece of jerky and feed it this whole ration. This pond is eternal now. <laughs> roll, roll a competing athletics check for me. Oh my god. Uh, uh, okay. Natural. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Nice. You manage to resist as it tries to sit on top of you. In a, like in the very, like, uh, it's not this, trying to hurt you, but it's like you're mine now. And it like sits on top of you. This literally is just <laughs> Kevin. It's just Kevin. <laughs> it is Kevin. Oh my God. Kai is going to snap. Hey, hey, hey. No. 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 Stay. It rolls over. <laughs> I mean, it's close enough. He's gonna chew up another piece of jerky and spit it on the floor for it. My God, ah. brother, I think you've mastered this. Can't say I've quite expected that kind of bonding, so, but if it works. So, Monty, you'd say this thing is kind of like energetic, like all over the place. It seems easily distracted. That is its definition. Okay. It is easily distracted. Well, I figured out my name. Milo, do you have a name for yours? Uh, I think I do. 
I was. A, I was. A, <laughs> I didn't know if Gaijin had a name. Is more yes. what I meant. Yes, well, I have you, a name. You asked Milo, okay. so that's <laughs> the answer. You get. There we go. Above I'm trying game, to be Milo. Do you have one? Above game. Yes. <laughs> yes, I. Milo. Okay, good. All right. Uh, I'm gonna name mine LJ. LJ, you got it. Yep. <laughs> Just. Hmm. I, I I look this walk look at this walking dumpling up and down, get kind of and Milo kind of frowns a little bit because he just he has it in his head to 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 be a, a great warrior of justice and it's hard to be a great warrior of justice with something like this but then he remembers he's also very small and despite that and being soft and cute and all these other things he remembers all of the things that he's obliterated in his travels thus far so maybe this bird can can do something similar. Is he expecting the bird to whip out a gun? <laughs> yes! The holy glock. <laughs> Just underneath the feathers. <laughs> the holy glock of Axebeak. I think someday you're going to do something amazing, so I'm going to give you a proper name. I'm going to call you Dawnbeak. <laughs> Are we all just making these noises now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> these are all canonic. The these are all canonical, canonical noises. So then that, that means mine sounds like this. Then hold on, because <laughs> he's all fucking fluffy. You can't hear him. He's muffled. He's like Kenny. <laughs> all right. So <laughs> your bird's got a silencer on him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Screw Pacific? off the axe and then screw on the silencer. <laughs> he's got a. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tactical <laughs> axe beak. I have this image of Walker like just beating the shit out of something and then just a single frame pulling out a pistol, shooting, and then keep going back to attack it. <laughs> just double tapping. The fucking uh, the the godfather fucking theme is this, this, <laughs> see, Walker the just we're leans up and looks right over now, at me. The the shit we're all saying, like you said, like you said the tactical scope. This is why I need all of you guys to at least play Jabroni Brawl at least once. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Walk, here, Walker here just leans your... up and looks at Oath though. Pull over, I need to take a leak. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here are your X Speaks uh, unique attributes. Uh, Hideon has no unique attributes. He's just very cute. Uh, that, hey, can. that's like plus five charisma, right? Sure. Sure. I mean, they have one. five charisma if we want to get technical, but um, Pazuzu has double HP. Yeah, tank. So he's he's got double the HP. Oh, uh, LJ has plus two to perception. Ooh. Uh, Don Beak has plus three to stealth because he's small. Sick. And Walker has advantage on all attacks, but is disadvantaged for all animal ha animal handling checks. Oh. I'm sorry, I missed that. What 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 is Walker? Walker has advantage, advantage on, on all attacks, oh, but is dis as disadvantage for any animal handling check. Hmm, I can make that work. Bold right. of you to assume it is your choice. <laughs> so, question then, Monty. <laughs> mm -hmm. If we're, can we make stealth checks on Axe Beak back? Uh, group checks would be, include the axe beaks if that's the case of it. But if you are stealthing, you would have to include the axe beaks. Yes. So. Do, 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 but they would be do, they would be independent. We wouldn't be considered one item, correct? No, it'd be separate. Okay. I just wasn't sure how we were gonna rule <clears> that. <throat> As you guys gather your bedrolls, kind of roll them up on behind the saddle. You know, your pots and pans, Milo, are hanging off the saddle. But sorry, the saddle bags. Yeah. Um, your rations are provided to you. Water skins are refilled. As you stand there, Rebu kind of kind of adjusts and kind of shows you guys a bit of the ropes on how to, you know, use the reins and whatnot. Uh, Osmir Harlan steps forward with his cane and goes, Well, I've mentioned this before and I ask it again. Uh, please give my regards to Lynn. Uh, tell her that it was indeed nice hearing from her and I do wish that the circumstances were uh, more to her liking. It has been a pleasure meeting you, and I will say this uh, adventure, though little part I've taken in it, has made me feel a bit young again. Did you uh, still want us to bring her a letter? Yes. He watches you kind of 
kind of shuffles around in his pocket and he hands you a very nicely looking looking letter with a with a seal on it of the ocean lord Ozimir Harland and he hands it off to you, Eskan. I will take it. Of course, it goes without saying that is a private correspondence, and I ask you not to peek within, please. He will open up one of the pockets on his leather ja- uh, like vest and just slide it in without breaking eye contact. Osbier kind of nods and goes, Your journey is a dangerous one, but it is a noble one, and I wish you the best on the road, and I hope you return safe to Easton Vale, and I hope that your efforts come to fruition. Truly, I do. For Easton Vale to return would be a great boon for Matarallo, and not only the people here, but the people in Easton Vale, if there are even people left. That being said, be careful, be wise, and blessed be the wind that carries you. He gives a wave. All the servants at this point bow, and the pseudo dragon as well kind of nods their head towards you. And Rebu kind of looks towards all you goes, All right, well, are we off? We won't let you down. I'll hold you to that. And I... Otho, Kai. Otho will turn and look. I hope to see you return return. home one day. Otho will will nod and give him a smile. Oh, yes, and uh, thank you for the broom as well. It uh, arrived this morning. Of course, yes. I had a feeling that you might like it. The living broom is quite interesting. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but uh, perhaps on one of the decks of a ship. Cleaning, mayhap, yes. <laughs> Indeed. Well, that said, good luck. And Godspeed. Rebu kicks the side of Schloff and immediately takes down down the road. You guys follow suit? Absolutely. <clears throat> right. Certainly try. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think mine uh, will feel that. <laughs> can I say something to Harlan as they run off? Yeah, Absolutely. Hey, Oslamir. Yes. Remember what I said if anyone comes looking. He puts a finger over his mouth and goes, Don't worry, young man. I have you covered. When fair winds and following seas. And he'll leave. If, uh, if Harlan has any background in the Navy, which I'm sure he does, that's a way of saying good luck. Yep. yep, yep. He, he smiles at that, which is a very genuine smile. His mustache curls. You know, it seems like a very endearing smile. As you guys take off down the road on your axe beaks, Pazuzu is like a light jog. Like he gets a lot of air. It's like a like a ballerina, like sort of like leap each time. Holy fuck, I made I picked the one that just fits Gaius by fucking mirthful leap. <laughs> <laughs> uh LJ uh tends to zigzag, stopping to like look at plants, stopping to like look over at this person who's walking their baby in a carriage and just kind of zigzags all over the place. I, I think what we've learned is that LJ goes hard in the paint. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Don Beak is very smooth to ride. It's like it's like there's no bouncing at all because the little legs go like they scuttle. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Crab walks. Yeah, okay. Mr. Crab walks. Uh, just, oh, small, yeah. small aside. I used to run track and field in high school, and there was one guy on our team who, at the time, was probably a foot shorter than I was, and I was maybe six two. And he was one of our fastest sprinters. And when he ran, his head did not bounce. Because his legs were so short, he had to move them super fast. Oh. So it's like, it's I'm like just reminded of that guy. On something. Uh, Walker Otho is actually like it's it's Axe Beaks look silly, but somehow this Axe Beak just looks really cool when it runs. Oh, its head shit. is forward. Its feathers are flopping in the breeze. Its eyes look serious. Some of the people that step out of the way look terrified at this creature, but as you run through. <laughs> You guys make your way down the city roads, kind of coasting around, skirting around carts and caravans, eventually making your way out of the city. One last look at the massive coastline, the far off ships of Winona Odez and other ocean lords and various sailing vessels, almost flapping their masts in a farewell. 
as you skirt around, kind of dodging through dwarves, you go, I am walking here, and kind of yell at you. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, you find yourself coming outside of the figurehead gate, where the guards kind of see you rush out, kind of holding onto their helmets as you run by, and you take off to the north, bird feet under your own, dashing forwards towards home. Hey, hey, Zito. Yes. Don't you just hate those Long Island fucking dwarves, man? <laughs> well, I'm walking here. You, you know, you know, I'm walking I, I, here. I, I, I would be Back upset at them. I, I would be upset at them, except that their their legs are so stubby that they actually like need 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 a little bit of something to work for them. Like at least they're not the Brooklyn Knights ones, you know. They get, oh. get, it can't be those. Why am I making this up? This is I hate this bit. <laughs> you on, guys do it hard bit. and then immediately regretted it we'll move on next bit as you all take off running the wind whipping through your hair the axe well except for you scan the axe feet squawking in delight i would like everyone to roll a handle animal check please oh god oh so would I you mind if i instead rolled a history check mm, <laughs> no Ooh, oh, oh not 20 Ooh. A 17 for East guy. Pulls out a sniper, enemy spotted. <laughs> oh! That oh, no. Okay. That's a 10. Everyone, you manage to keep on your axe beaks. It's, it's, you're not used to riding a lot of you. Um, and the axe beaks are definitely a lot more lurchy than horses, but they are definitely faster as they stride easily over stones and things that are in the way briskly and without any problems. Kai, as you're riding on the back of LJ, you see a rabbit dart across the path, and immediately LJ goes, and immediately veers off the path into the brush for a while. Hon honestly, Kai's not even going to stop them. He's just going to go with it, and we're going to go chase a rabbit, because I feel like LJ is a very supportive axe beak, and so I want to support LJ in kind. This show yeah. writes itself. As you go dashing so yeah, we're through chasing long a rabbit. Grass. I'm, I'm all in. Not even going to pull them back. Bat bugs kind of hitting into branches. Eventually, LJ kind of stops and <laughs> notices the herd moving farther north and immediately blitzes forward, almost knocking oh, you shit. off the saddle as it runs back to join the group again. And as Looks you guys totally take intentional. off... As you guys take off running in the early morning, I need someone to roll me 3d20, please. I'll do, I'll it. do it. Okay. <laughs> uh, as the Lock third eyes, party, electricity. <laughs> Gaijin was definitely first. I'm just saying. That's nah, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll be. I'll be the. Gr I'll be the gracious one. Mom, Dad, please stop fighting. Fuck. Go to your room, son. I'm already in my room. I hate it I here. Look at give horse in the dick. Here I go. <laughs> this is a nightmare. Oh, oh good. No. Wow. Good. 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 I hate okay. it here. <laughs> As you guys take off running, black storm heads begin to crackle and the wind begins to gust as... Ah, oh, not again! I wish I remember what the lyrics were to Monsoon's boss fight in Revengeance. A sheet of rain descends down on all of you. I need everyone to make constitution saving throws, please. Amazing. Including uh, the axe beaks. Haha, uh, <laughs> <laughs> nine. I hate it all over again. Thirteen! <laughs> three! Uh, also a three. Axe beaks get plus one, correct? Man, they LJ do, can't yes. get no teammates. This is why they can't go to so... the finals. This is just... 20 plus one. Ugh. Jesus Christ, the two! Six. All right, as you guys run through the thunderstorm, anyone who rolled beneath a 10 has two points of exhaustion. Wow. Two oh, points? Crap. Yep. Because you rolled you rolled high wind and high rain, so it's, a, it's basically a tropical Woo! storm, which uh, has a saving throw to it. Uh, great. So Sorry, you'll sleep it off. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, work. sleep. What's that going to be? Now, do you guys rest or you guys keep going? Let's go. Well, question. Rest. question, 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 no, question. Well, hold on. Okay. 
I was just gonna ask, don't we move additional panels or is it still only one? This is during the day, so this happens in the morning. So we would take points of exhaustion even if we rest because this is severe weather, so there's no guarantee that we wouldn't be exhausted. We might as well keep going, correct? If we keep going, we would make it to Roscoe Air today, right? Yeah, we would get shelter, we could get out of the rain, and it wouldn't matter anyway. Is that correct, mm -hmm. Yeah. That is correct, yeah. <laughs> then yeah, we might as well just be exhausted. Let's keep going. <laughs> yeah, we'll okay. just be disgruntled as we arrive in town. <clears throat> You are soaked to your bones as you rush for the axe speaks, seeming very unhappy. Rebu at one point kind of brings a cloak over himself and it is just like, just wet. You are wet and it is like, oh my gosh. Gaius, your fur is sopping. Like it is Ooh. absolutely dripping around your face. Monty! Scan, even though you tend to like more humidity, the rain is cold and unforgiving. And it makes you kind of like shudder and shiver. Milo, you can't turn your trusty frying pan into a drying pan while no! you're running. Oh no! So you are pelted relentlessly. No, my Kai, chili donuts! <laughs> Kai, your fluffy hair and your poncho does help a bit, but unfortunately it gets sopping wet as well. I, I would and like to ask, can I, can I use the poncho to shield LJ? You can attempt to, but... It's unfortunately such a violent storm that while your efforts are emotionally very, very sweet, in practice they are un they are useless against this onslaught that of the weather. That is fine. It is this is about emotion. I am connected <laughs> with this axe beat. I have never felt so invested in a story in my life. It's gonna be sad when this thing dies. Anyway, as you guys wow. Wow. Why you just listen, say that? listen. Yeah. Listen. Listen. Well, it's only a matter of time now. <laughs> well, there's the death flag, everybody. As you begin to make your way forward, you begin to see houses with warm lamp-like glows as night begins to descend. And as you mind find your ways to Rasco Air, it is one silver per day to stable your axe beaks for each axe beak. Okay. Easy enough. So you have, you have six it. axe beaks, so six silver. I will put my one. Sure. Okay. Yeah. As you hand the gold, you hand the gold. You hold, you hand the silver over to a very disgruntled-looking older human man who is working the stables. There's mud up to his knees. He looks just as tired as you do. He takes each axe beak and leads them into the stable and houses oh. them there. Before he goes, Milo wants to look at him. Don't worry, we're all having a rough day. I'm going to give him an additional silver for himself. He takes it and he kind of gives you in and goes, "That's appreciated, friend." He pockets it. Oh, no worries. Your birds will be fed and they'll be ready in the morrow. Thank you so much. Get out of the hell out of this weather before you catch a cold, though. I remember that. Flashbacks to on our way oh here. Oh my god. Yeah, you Jesus, do. lying <laughs> face down in the rain. Everyone family guy falling in the mud. It's just yeah. the, the, the Cusco at the start of Emperor's <laughs> New Groove, just sitting in the store. I'm, oh, the, victim yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. the victim here. I'm the victim here. You can see, whereas you were here before, there were several people working on ships and various parts and masts and things. It is completely vacant. It seems that everyone has retreated due to the nature of the weather. Uh, and as you walk in, Rebu kind of turns and goes, all right, are we all good to go to the uh, anchor's landing? I think that's fine. All right, let's go. And as you're led into the inn, immediately the warmth of a hearth fire welcomes you. The rain, eventually you escape. And as you enter inside, you see a raucous tavern filled to the brim with workers who have basically had the day off and are enjoying a nice ale and cards. You also see that dragonborn man who told you those stories currently serving up drinks and food to hungry patrons as you make your way inside. <clears throat> Water dripping from every part of you. From your ears to your clothes to your feet, you enter inside. Just lank my ass over to the bar table. <laughs> A dripping knob. puddle left behind you. You make your way over as a barmaid kind of brings a mop and goes, oh, damn it, and come, kind of comes over and mops up the trail you all leave behind you. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. It's okay. It happens every now and again. Oh, as you honey. sit down, you see the dragon boat turns and goes, well, look who's back. Yep, 
That's oh. us. Successful in your venture, eh? Oh, more or less for now. That's good, that's good. What can I get for you? A towel would be great. He just kind of <laughs> looks down, sad. Don't have a towel, but we have a fire if you want to sit next to it. <sighs> your warmest ale. Put down a gold. You, you got it, sir. He takes the gold and turns around. Oh, can I get Warm some hot ale? I. How's that strange? It just most people prefer it cold. Oh, can you I want... get some? Can I get some hot tea and some soup? I can do that. I. Hey, give me a, a soup and a tea. And you watch as a couple of the the workers kind of scramble around. Get me a number seven. <laughs> give me a number seven. Can I have a number nine with extra pickles? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> number 15. <laughs> Burger King foot lettuce. Gaius, you uh, see sliding across the bar comes a massive just tankard of ale with froth just spilling out the sides. Oh, hell Milo, yeah. you have a tray brought to you as a young woman kind of places a very hearty wooden bowl of soup in front of you with a kind of really nice yet chipped uh, cup with tea inside of it. Yeah. Well, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go have dinner with Dad. Uh, all right, suit yourself. Do, uh, he's gonna kind of puts his hand behind <laughs> his his head fin. Would you want any company? Oh, sir, you could you could help me tell Dad what's been going on. I can try. <laughs> Ah, no problem. I bet he'd love... Oh, he, he's gonna he'd love to hear about what you've been able to do. I bet he'd be so psyched. Uh, sure. All right, let's go. You can tell him all about it. And Ethan will go off with Milo. Although, Kai, was there anything you wanted to get food-wise? Uh... Mm, do they have any wine or, or fine spirits? They do have wine, but it's not... You can already tell just by the energy of this place, it's going to be passable at best. Mm, what about spirits? Uh, they do have hard liquor, yes. Um, you're not sure of the quality, though. But as the dragon will come back, it goes, You want the hard stuff? Eh, I got some, uh, some potato uh, some potato spirits. I got some uh, dwarven spirits. It's a strong, but a little bit strong in the flavor. Um, got some oh. uh, Delvarian spirits, fresh import. Very, very... Uh, uh, Put hair on your chest, <laughs> and he slaps your chest. I don't, I don't need any help with that, I assure you, but uh, the Delvarian does sound interesting. I think I'll have a glass of that. Very well. And some, something warm to eat, probably some meat and potatoes or something. I got it, I got that for you. And you watch as he disappears and eventually returns. He gives you what looks to be like Somewhere in between, like, a pint glass and a shot glass of size. And inside is what can only be described as, like, a... It looks like... It's not appealing, but it looks like, um... Like, river water, almost. Like, with, like, the tannins in it. It's got, like, kind of an off-brownish color to it. Uh, the meal is... What appears to be a, a beef of some kind. Beef cut. Um, garnished very well. And it is just loaded with potatoes on the side. With all sorts of herbs and spices kind of accumulating your senses very very thoroughly you know you know if what you were to count the number of herbs and spices uh, how how many would there be monty probably about three or four oh, okay. herbs and spices. uh herbs and spices. i i uh you know what alcohol is probably not the only sustenance i should probably consume <laughs> uh but that's just bread I, well well fair <laughs> but also as you know for flavor gaius uh like stops, looks at his drink, thinks about it after Otho just got food, and he goes, "Oh, oh, that's. I should probably do this. I would like whatever sea fish you have. It may be the last time I have some in a while. Oh, we got plenty of cuts for you, lad. We got eel if you want it. We got some mm. nice snapper. We have a whole roasted squid. What would you like? Sea eel." Yeah, it's like a big old long sea snake. It's a little slimy, but the taste is good. I will overcome this trial. Very well. Everything's a trial. Get the boiled eel! Give me a bowl of it! Ah, you ate 
dumb. I, you bet. Uh, what is presented in front of you, Gaius, is it looks like eel that has been cut into portions, and it looks like it's been, like, gelatinized in a way. It looks very gooey and slimy and uh, is sitting on a bed of what appears to be, like, some sort of sauce of some kind. You're not sure what it is. Gaius doesn't know, but that's the whole reason he wants in on it, because he's like, oh, I don't know what the fuck this is, but let's fucking go, and he go goes to town on it. The texture is horrendous. It is <laughs> gelatinous and chewy, but the flavor's pretty good. It's almost somewhere between, <laughs> like, like chicken and fish, but more, like, chewy and more robust. The sauce definitely helps with the flavor. Um, the sauce is kind of smoky, and, and um, you're not sure what exactly it is, but whatever it is, it's very strong in a smoky flavor. This meal is an enigma. But I love it. <laughs> That's what everyone says. Literally everyone. And uh, what about for you, lad? As the dragon, as the dragonborn leans forward towards you, Kai. Uh, do you guys have any like seeds or nuts? We can do nuts. I huh? got pecans. We got um, uh, cashews, I believe, as well. I'm not familiar with the cashew, but can I get a cashew? Uh, some pecans. Uh, uh, some peanuts, if you have any of those. We got walnuts, does that do you? Uh, as long as they don't come from the actual wall, I think that'll work. And you then, got it. Hey, what? like a fish thing, do you have a fish thing? <laughs> yeah, we do walnuts. a fish thing, we got snapper, right, right next snapper. To the wall chicken. Yeah, let's do a fish and some nuts. You got it. He watches, he turns around, and sure enough, he brings you a very cute bowl of nuts, like it's kind of small. Uh, but it does contain walnuts, pecans, peanuts. Um, and the fish is a large red snapper with the head still intact with lemon slices all over it and like herbs on top. And it smells very fake fragrant. It's, it's, just, it's not sea fish unless it's got lemons all over it. Yeah. It, all lemon. I think, all I can think of is, uh, is walnuts, peanuts, pineapple, pineapple smell. <laughs> uh, Kai is going to take both of those off of the counter. And then he's going to call out, uh, you can put it on the blonde ones tab. And then he's going to uh, run outside. Wait, what the fuck? I'm sorry. What? I don't get kicked. I don't get. I, do I look like I'm made of money? He's already out the door. <laughs> Damn. Damn, I thought you meant me for a minute. <laughs> no. No, we're oh, not there. Rebu. It's very clearly Rebu. Yeah, yeah, we left before they started Rebu talking gives about you a look food. Yeah, oh, goes... oh, I figure, I figure uh, Milo and East kind of had gone to the fire. Yeah. And I Rebu missed turns out on towards... the chance to have fish. Rebu turns towards you and goes, I'm paying for my own meal in my own room. That feels only fair. I'll, I'll be paying for him. And okay. I'll I'll slide I'll slide the money over for Kai's meal. Uh, Thank you kindly. Uh Rebu orders himself a very tall ale, similar to Gaius's, and he orders himself the squid and eats that. As you all take your meals in, uh, each drink and meal costs a silver each, so for Gaius it'd be two silver. Um, basically two silver for, for everyone if you've got a drink mm -hmm. and you got a mm -hmm. meal with it. Monty, mm -hmm. Kai, since he sprinted outside, is going to run to the stables, and LJ will be getting a nice bowl of nuts and fish. Okay, you got it. You go into the stables where they are. It's actually quite warm inside the stables. You see your axe speaks with their with their heads tucked behind their wings, sleeping. Um, interestingly enough, uh, <laughs> Pazuzu is so thick he can't really fully turn the neck, so he's like sleeps with his neck slightly to the side. Me too. Um, <laughs> yeah, LJ enjoys the nuts quite fervently. They gobble them up very very quickly. Uh, here you go, LJ. I got you this fish and these nuts, so I hope you enjoy. <laughs> God damn it, boss. And then he's going to pull out a ration All right. and eat it for himself. So I'm going to mark off a ration. Yeah, they happily eat the fish, like, head and all. Yay. All right. As the rest of you spend some time in the inn, uh, you guys, I'm assuming, want to get an inn room for the night. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, that will be two silver per person. Um, got it. Or per room, specifically. So, if you guys want to double up, each room has, like, a bed that can be shared. Oh. Uh, Iskan, do you want to bunk up with me? Save some money? Uh, yeah, sure. All right. So, we'll just have one gold of each of us to pay for that one room. 
I thought it was it. Or silver, 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 silver. It's silver. Everything, yeah, not gold. Everything is everything is gold most of the time. So you know, it's just you know, just, what if there, what if there was a currency that merged the two together? I oh. hate you. Oh. <laughs> you that way you can have best hell when I acknowledge worlds. Electrum. <laughs> what what's that, Monty? I never heard of it. Shut up. Anyway. So, I'm assuming Otho and Kai, you're bunking together as well? Probably. Uh, actually, for the first time ever, Kai needs his own room. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Uh, uh. Silver for Kai, then. Uh? I will mark off a silver. Uh? It's two silver for your own room, though. Oh. Uh. Uh. Two <laughs> all right. Rebu looks between Gaius and Otho and goes, all right, who am I bunking with? Well, guys just scratched and scratches the back of his head. I've been told I'm the quiet and sleepy kind. You do give off that air. I don't understand why they would say such a thing. I'm a beam of energy. Yep, yeah, you sure are, Bucko. I mean, I could get my own room, but I'd rather save the coin if it's all the same. That is fair enough. Very well. I suppose you're staying with me tonight. All right, me and the me and the purple guy. Uh, what? <laughs> All right. Suppose I'm on my own then. Well, don't look at me with that grimace. I see what you did, Zito. Thank and you. you! Should be very ashamed. <laughs> Thank you. No, fuck you. It, it was a matter of time before it happened in this game. <laughs> Thank um, you. Wrong, Rabuku. Could it be that you're no. craving my McNoogies? No! Stop. <laughs> so fucking heinous, all of Alright. So unless there's anything else I'm anybody would like to do. I'm two for two with the bad shit post fucking jokes tonight, boys. Uh, I will say, Othos, you will see Kai after he pays for his room. He will run upstairs clutching his backpack. Ugh, hello, brother. Hmm? What's with the, uh, what's with the needing your own room all of a sudden? Uh, not that I mind. A man. I mean... <laughs> what? 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 Be a man. I don't remember that ah. verse of the song. <laughs> I see. In that case, I will respect your privacy and, uh, I'll leave you to it. Yeah. Th uh, wow. That, okay. That was, that, yeah. Th I th uh, thank you. Of course. I'll just be in my room if you need me for anything. Okay. Uh, and knock before entering, please. I will be sure to. Thank you. <laughs> like Sonic down the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hormones. So Unless there's anything anybody wants to do, you all gain the benefits of a full rest. Hell yeah. And in the morning, I would like somebody to roll for me 3d20, please. I'll do it. <sighs> Let's go. Curses! Well, you got okay. the natural one, though. On got the, the natural one on the other help. one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, me and guys will get two temp HP. Sick. You got it. Uh, those of you who have uh, one level of exhaustion, you now have zero. Anyone who has two levels of exhaustion, you now have one. Oof. But as you wake up the following morning, it's a bit of a warmer day. A bit gusty, but no rain. All I can see is that... Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I guess Song Gaius... by Blind Melon called No Rain. Yeah, yes. Guys, you wake up to see Rebu on the floor just a completely cocooned in a blanket. It looks like he fell off in the middle of the night. <laughs> like, poke him in the head. Ow! What? Typically, what time is it? Typically, I've been told that you're supposed to sleep in those things, but I get why you would want to sleep on the floor. Oh, I fell off the bed, didn't I? All right. You need some help right. getting out of that? He kind of wiggles and he stops around and goes, yes. Athletics check. 
<laughs> All right. Go go ahead. Fifteen. Like a Beyblade from hell, you let it rip, and he spins, <laughs> <laughs> crashes into a dresser, and goes, "Fuck! Ah, my ribs!" Go. Oh. Ooh, it's gonna bruise. That's gonna bruise. God damn, dude. I mean, that worked, but holy crap. God, you I... got a wild arm on you. This is good. I've been told I don't know my own strength. I will prove them wrong. Oh. All right, let's get the birds and get out of here. Very well. As the rest of you make your way out of your rooms, you meet with Rebu in the main area of the tavern. There's significantly less people in now, just a few people eating breakfast. And as you sit down, uh, Rebu does kind of point out. He goes, all right, so based on the map, we can just about make it to Maddie Amon, but we're probably going to hit Nightfall before we get there. That's kind of the thing, too. Don't we have to go through that pass with the goblins and the ogres and the caravan graveyard? Sure yeah, do. We, we may want to take it slowly today. You want to move at half speed, then? Uh, I'd suggest not. We don't want to be camping in the caravan graveyard. I would have well, to agree. That's a fair well, you... point, but we also don't want to move too fast that we get ambushed or anything. Also a valid concern. Well, we could go part of the way, right to the edge, right by here, and then go all the way the next day. So move only a little bit, rest, and then keep going the following day? Yeah, just, just go through as fast as we can through the, uh, through that graveyard. Through the oh no area. Through the oh no. <laughs> I put oh no for a reason. We found Yoko Ono. So, Whoa. you guys want to stop right here for the night? Just that That's my suggestion. We don't have to automatically take it. I, I just, think it's smart, you. too, because we're all still idea. suffering from okay. exhaustion. Yeah, so. that too. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Alrighty. E scan, what's your passive perception? Uh, 21. Okay. Mm. As you all kind of roll you up your masks ask. and begin <laughs> to take, as you roll up your mat and begin to take leave, you do notice at the corner of your eye, there's a human man who's kind of sitting near the fire who kind of like watches you all leave. Uh, do I recognize him at all? No, not at all. Okay. I'll wait till we're outside. Uh, but I'll I'll lean over to Milo. Uh, there's a guy by the fireplace watching us as we left. Really? Yeah. That's... Human. I didn't recognize him, but I don't think he knows I saw him either. Uh, how far away are we at this point, Monty? I say you guys have walked about probably... 20 feet away from the door at this point. I want to go back in and like peek around to see if he's still there, like through a window or door crack or something. Okay, roll a stealth check. Oh boy. That thing I'm not good at. Can I, can I, can I guidance myself since this is a one? You may, yes, but you still okay. have disadvantage. Oh well, no, I'm aware. <laughs> oh, five. Oh wait, no. Let me roll the, like it matters. Six. Six. See, you got Ooh. that extra one. I'll show him. <laughs> I carry nothing. Yes. It was a garbage roll both ways, so. As you kind of, like, climb up on top of, like, a planter to, like, look inside, mm -hmm. you hear a cracking noise as the thing collapses under your, your armor's weight and crashes to the ground. And you hear some people go like, what was that? Like from the inside? I fucking book it. <laughs> okay, you start running. All of you look around and you just see like Milo just running past you all. <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I didn't do anything. Come on, let's go. What the? Duh, Rebu starts running I'll after like, you. I'll flick a gold into the pile of rubble. <laughs> <laughs> the, the guilty gold. 
All right, as you guys run off, eventually you find yourselves at the stables. You see the stable hand, much drier, much happier, smoking a pipe, and he sees you approach as he kind of taps out the inside and pockets it, and he goes, You're here for your horses. Oh, no, yes. we're here for our axe beaks. Oh, sorry, wrong cloaked people. Uh, yeah, axe beaks. <laughs> wait, 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 wrong cloaked people. There are other... I, I guess that makes sense. It was rainy last night. Up, there's a sign that says Prancing Pony. <laughs> <laughs> A short time passes worry, and all guys, your axe come. all your axe beaks are retrieved. You saddle all of them and you are ready to go. I guess we'll do a light trot, because we don't need to go very fast. Nope. Yeah, and since that guy was keeping an eye on us as we left, Iskan's gonna be keeping an eye out uh behind them as well to just see if there's anyone following. I don't know how well-traveled this part of the road is, but just in case, he'll keep an eye out for that, the man who was watching them leave. Okay. I hear his name is Strider. It's always a Strider. I know. I'm sorry. As you guys Strider, hear you. Mount up oh. on your axe beaks. You take off. And you move one tile. <laughs> you take your time. I would say, as a group, everybody roll stealth checks with advantage, including the axe beaks. This is a group check. Just to Good. see how well you keep out of eyesight. Oh, okay. 18. Nice. Um, oh my Christ. It's advantage, though. Oh, advantage, so, right. yep. uh, 15 for my axe beak. Nice. Oh, we're rolling for the axe beak, axe beak Yes. Too? Uh, Remember, advantage. 15... Uh, for the uh, for Pazuzu and nineteen for Gaius. Nice. Uh, that's a sixteen for nice. Uh, Hidian. That is a ten. I'll roll for Rebu. Remember, it's with advantage. Ooh, Rebu. Roll for your axe beak as well, Buster. Twenty plus one. Oh, what's the modifier for stealth plus on one. an axe beak? Oh, right. Plus Stun. one. For uh, I believe it's plus uh, one. I'll double check. Yeah, uh, Don Beak has a plus three. Yeah. Yep, plus one. Oh, good. Uh, uh, an eight for the axe beak and a 24 for Otho. That is check. a resounding success for everybody. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. As you all kind of use hold the on, train here, Vanity. LJ did not get to roll, and I feel like they deserve. I, I literally told 17. you to roll it. 17. That Perfect. 17. Now okay. we get to pass. <laughs> As you, yeah, that's the, that was the defining one, even though a yes. bunch of you rolled a bunch of 20s. MVP. <laughs> LJ's the MVP. You manage to use the train to your advantage and make your way out out of the city uh, into the road. And once again, you are greeted by the husks of carts and caravans that have been absolutely pilfered. Sorry, just grabbing travel ambience, please. Just, just, just uh, pulling out the tokens to kill us with. Mm -hmm. At one point, since you are going at a slower pace, uh, Iskan, you do notice a goblin war party of about 10 goblins, and you all kind of pull your axe beaks under some rocks as they kind of pass by, scouring the area. But luckily, due to your sole place and your, suc your successful checks, they are none the wiser to your approach as you all hide pressed against the wall. <sighs> Doing the crunk. <laughs> So you guys spend the night. Where are you guys camping out? Um, this I know the landscape is pretty flat, but are there any sort of like molehills or anything uh, like a smaller hill that we could kind of shelter behind? There uh, in between is not us so and where we saw the goblins. There's not so much hills as there are like shelves of rock that have shifted through tectonic activity. Okay. That kind of can sometimes make a slight ridge, but beyond that, it is relatively flat. Honestly, I was going to suggest maybe we hide out in one of the busted carts, because why would they go looking in a cart they already looted? Yeah, but we've tried that before. They're very cold unless you light them on fire. Well, let me tell you about what I'm capable of doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's no, set them all on we fire. Definitely... Set the whole fucking valley ablaze. <laughs> You can't wait, find wait. us if it's all burning. It might. It. You you say that, but it might get the goblins to leave. <laughs> and we stay in the fire. Yeah, we stay warm. It's fine. 
I I am willing to accept staying in a in an, an upturned cart, but not one that is lit on fire, please. I will say this: you do also have six giant axe beaks that are giant turkey oh, birds. Oh yeah, yeah. It smell them. Can we can we try yeah. my plan instead then? Yeah, sure. So we'll we'll set up on the underside of one of those upturned uh, jetties of rock. There is no underside. It is just a shelf, so it just is up. Well, alongside, then. Okay. Easy enough to do. That way we only can really be attacked from one side. There's actually a significant amount of shrubbery and, like, smaller trees that have kind of made up a sort of perimeter around this sector near this shelf of rock. I'm sorry. My cat is going nuts. He wants to be fed so bad. Um, Can't even hear him. Yeah, he's being loud. He's, I can't believe you can't hear him. He's, like, smacking my door right now. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to bust it down. Bob is very hungry. Um, yeah, sure enough, you guys bring the axe beaks over. Uh, you're able to tie them to some of the trees as well. Um, do you guys make a fire or no? It's not cold, is it? It's actually quite warm. Yeah, so I think we'd be fine. Yeah. Okay, no fire yeah. then. Eating that rash. means no light as well, don't forget. I'm fine with that. Coyote. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Forbidden dog. Doors. All right. You guys want to make a watch? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Give me the darkest dark. night. Give me Let's dawn. see. Got paper here. All right. So Milo's going second. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Okay, I've got fair. bad eyes. Okay. You have the goggles. Who wants to yeah, go but they third? don't let me see in the dark. I'll go third. I have special eyes. <laughs> and who would like to go last? I need glasses. Hello, I'm I I am going to wake up. Yes, it is me. All right, guys. Ew. Incorrect. That is actually He Man. And the Masters of the Universe? No, just He Man. Ah, there. Uh, I'm the I Masters of Prince the Day. of Eternia. <laughs> All right. Iskan, go ahead and roll for me a perception check as night comes and you guys have placed your axe beak around. Uh, do you need disadvantage? Uh, yes, because you do not have dark vision, so yes, Correct. disadvantage, please. One of these days. Well, if, if I gave him light, it wouldn't help at all for one hour, right? Because it's so consistent. No, it's a long period of time. Yeah. It's right. I'll just uh, roll two checks and we'll actually take the disadvantage because i can't remember i can never remember the hotkey for a disadvantage well now the hotkey for advantage isn't working either so let me just roll twice hey uh, hey 15. 15. Okay. as you kind of keep a general watch the axe speaks eventually nestle down and begin to sleep you see at a distance what looks to be some sort of like you think for a second it's a warg and it kind of makes your heart thump for a moment but it is just a like a coyote that's just like running over the ridge and with that your watch goes without a hitch i gotta say mark i'm impressed <laughs> by what that's literally the first time i've ever seen anybody pass a perception check with performance and i was like really impressed by the performance oh shit. oh well you know how did i not click the same what I clicked the same thing <laughs> twice. I did not notice that. You rolled the performance <laughs> yeah. check. I, it wouldn't have mattered me because it would have been a higher nah. bonus. It would have been a higher bonus. Run. Like, Mark we already did this so bit. well that his per he performed the perception. It was Shut amazing. Up. Well done. Second watch. Dance uh, with the coyote. Dance the dance of life. <laughs> <laughs> I Wait, I've seen this joke already. Cool. I do have dark vision. You do, so it's just a straight roll for you. Okay, I want to perform. Wait. Uh... <laughs> Do a little twirl and then look. You keep a watchful eye out. You look up and you see a, just a sea of stars. Oh. It's beautiful. Mine's and... to be this gun. Nothing happens. Cool. 
third was Gaia? Me! Oh, no, no, that's right, I don't know, nothing out there, so it's just kind of nice. Hmm. Well, have a pleasant sleep, Mr. Brightbeam. Oh, do you need anything before I go to bed? I'll be fine, thank you. All right. I will uh, shift into wear tiger form. Okay. And I will do my wash. Uh, their tiger. Perception check for me. Their castle. The cats don't, meow. Don't mind hey. me. Hey. Memes channel right now. Sipsion. And remember, don't roll performance check because cats don't dance. What? That's a wow. ten either way. One either way. Okay. Zito. I. I. Don't 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 zito me. This is Theropod's <laughs> doing. Oh, you're I fired. <laughs> Otho, as you kind of remain in your were tiger form, kind of scouring across, kind of look towards the axe beaks, and they're very, you know, they're all floofed up, and they look pretty content. Does a 15 hit you? Oh, oh it man. sure does. All right. As you're kind of standing and keeping watch, you hear a and immediately a bolt strikes directly into your chest as a heavy crossbow shot hits you directly in your center. And well, that's not take, good. You take seven oh, points of piercing Jesus damage. It almost knocks ow. you off your feet as you ah, let out this roar of pain. And you see in the brush reloading a dragonborn, currently reloading a crossbow and pointing it at you. I need everyone to roll initiative, please. You oh, son of a bitch! Yeah. You ruined Otho our rest! Just... Yeah, Otho will just That's shout, we've got problems! Let's nice. go. I am up and going. Six. Natural two. Well, that ate through <laughs> my temporary hit points. That's That'll 12. be a 15. All righty. <sighs> I'm grab some lovely battle music here. This is just rude, man. Da, 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 da. My Why are people trying to kill us? We're awesome. <laughs> we haven't hurt anybody. We <laughs> exactly. Oh, so. Or rather, we hurt some people, but they were already Hi. dead, so it's not really our our fault. Ah yes. Now, for those who wear armor, keep in mind you cannot sleep with armor on. Ha <laughs> okay. ha. Jokes on you. I don't have any armor. <laughs> Well, I can at least pull my shield out. You Am I wearing shield, armor? Yeah. Am I wearing leather? It's head. I believe it's medium or heavy armor it needs to be removed to be slept yeah. in. I'll double check it. Though. Leather. Leather. A pound of steel versus a pound of leather. Which weighs more? Uh, is... Sleeping in light does not have any adverse effects. Egg salad. Then I would be uh, wearing. Leather. Sleeping in medium or heavy armor makes it difficult to recover fully during a long rest. So, so don't do that. Don't yeah, you sleep don't. In that. You don't sleep in that. You also cannot restore any points of exhaustion as well. Okay, I ain't got so. those, so that's fine. Alrighty. Okay, not super great. Uh, Monty, out of curiosity, mm -hmm. was was that crossbow bolt shot rolled with advantage? It was, yeah. That should have actually been a normal roll because while I'm shifted, attacks against me cannot have advantage. Oh shit. I think it still would have hit because the other roll was also pretty decent, but. Darn. We, it was a little too late. I'm very sorry. For, 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 for future notice. Good to know. Yeah. All righty. And well, as shifter. you all kind of jolt awake at the sound of Otho screaming, we're actually going to take a break here now. Oh, boy. Uh, 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 Rope their plant, uh, uh, Milo. Good job. I'm no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I got to use the bathroom so badly right now. Yeah. I'm excited for this fight, though. How do you pick up it? Oh, oh. Ladies oh. and gentlemen, welcome to the Bosco Halftime Show. How's everybody doing? Good to see all of you here. Please remember to drink your legs and stretch your water if you have them. Yes, this is the proper halftime show. None of those cheap imitations that you can get on those infomercials. 
Uh, LJ wants to know, so Bosco, how long did it take for you to come up with that name, huh? I knew before the session started. I'm doing well, thank you. I've also got the Discord open, so I see all of you trolls in there. Like the rope a dope. I miss hearing you talk loud and proper. Well, you gotta be big and you gotta be loud. That's two cats don't da dance references that I've made that nobody is going to get because that movie was buried in the 90s and it was so good. But everybody talks about Hercules and everything else because Disney was on a roll. Check out Cats Don't Dance, it's a great movie. Special place in my heart because it's about a Midwest kid that goes out to try to be an actor. It's great, it's a good movie, check it out. Nothing's gonna stop us now. All right, I'm not gonna sing, that's a terrible idea. Bosco, I know that movie, hell yeah. Cats Don't Dance is cool. There's actually a really cool sequence where, and I, I didn't notice this till like I watched it much later in my adult life. There is a scene where as they're dancing and singing, they are slowly adding color to everything. And like, it's really interesting. I didn't realize how they were playing with colors and all that stuff as the song is going on. And it's it just, it's really, really cool. I had completely forgotten about that. Joke's on you, it's one of my favorites. Nice. Haven't been here for a while. Bosco, got a class yet? Nope. <laughs> but thank you for coming back. Much appreciated. Arkov is in the chat. Get the fuck out of here, Arkov. The song brought color life back into their hearts. Exactly. But I didn't realize that that's what they were doing until I watched it as an adult. As a kid, that didn't click. Blackfoot Fair, thank you for the lead pitch. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. If you would be so kind... Got someone really special here. She's about to speak her mind. I got a song to sing. All right. Uh, Corin, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Darla Dimple has the best villain animation in Cats Don't Dance. That and her scary ass butler. Yes, Miss Dimple. It's a great movie. Draconian 9, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Hey, you're loving the session so far. Will be my last resub for a bit, unfortunately. Finances are a bit tight at the moment, but looking forward to when I can emote again. Well, you can always be gifted a sub, so that could happen, because those get, those gifts are tossed out all over the place because we got some very generous folks. But the most important thing to remember is to take care of yourself first. We just appreciate your time and your support. So showing up here is the best way to support the show. The bits and the subs and all that stuff is nice, and we get paid because of it, but not everybody can do that, and just showing up is amazing. So keep doing that. Keep showing up if you can. And if you can, VOD Squad. Uh, LJ says, you better keep me alive. LJ needs to make it to the end. You keep assuming that I named it after you. I don't know what you're going on about. Gods, thank you so much for the bits. Kai, I'm thinking about being a necromancer, Nectra. <laughs> the Crecta, ultimate power. Excellent. Scrolling down. Uh, Mike in for the 100 bits. Bosco, they have a D21 on Amazon for nine bucks. Well, that is pretty cool. Dice Ruler, all with 100 bits. Well, time to fight. Also, tweet. Excellent. Welcome in. Yo, what up? What up, Zito? Welcome back into the Bosco Halftime Show. Fuck yeah. Have Are you excited be to be here? Fuck yeah. That mac and cheese and bratwurst combo, I'm fucking ready to yeah, go. Yeah, buddy. I'm making fucking mac and cheese. And nobody can stop. Corin Solis, thank you for the 100 bits. Forgot to mention some good news. Weight loss uh, the last three weeks. Down over 45 pounds. I feel weird being lighter. Ah, damn, damn, dude. Hot That's damn. That's really good. Fucking A. Really crap. good. You just gotta just stay consistent, but that's I mean that's a hell of a no, that's, that's, that's a hell of a drop over three weeks. That's really good. Uh Z and Lada with a hundred bits. We laugh now, but wait, a hundred plus episodes in, and LJ turns out to be the big bad evil guy. Bad bird endgame. King Knight Owl thinking with hundred bits. I wonder if Kai has an orb to ponder in his solitude. Great question. 
If only we had a Q&A where we could answer that. Gauze, thank you so much for the bits. Bandits, oh look, money. Gaius, oh look, money. <laughs> mm. Oh, you've made a horrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> you chose poorly. Oh, a trial. <laughs> a trial, you say? Mm, combat trial. Mm, you don't, uh, you don't mm, say. Combat trial. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. No. The fuck is going on? Oh. Hi guys, you're welcome to the Bosco <laughs> Halftime Show. You're just in time. For what? Pain and misery? Oh. Yes. It's the special. It goes uh. really good with the mac and cheese. Fuck yeah. And bratwurst. Constable Mutt, thank you for the 10 bits. Walker's gonna either kill the enemies or the party. Protoss103 with the five bits. I wonder if the chicken man would like the axe beaks. You mean the, the what now? I don't, I don't know. That could be a lot of people. Killer it's Chancy, thank you for the bits. Gaius, oh, you've made a fucky walkie. Mm. Bust out axe. Time to get in the forever box. Mmm. Mm. Welcome to the fuck box, mm. boys. I'm back. I'm just <laughs> Whoa, eating. whoa, that is a very different box than the forever box. Yo, you listen here. I'm going to wake up level three and they better block this overhead or else something's going to go very, <laughs> very wrong. But for all level Dusk two. Ninja Kenji, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Hey, guys, what is the spiciest food you have eaten and do you like it or not? Go ramen challenge. Thing. No. Ramen yeah, challenge. The spiciest thing I've ever eaten was probably during one of the charity streams that I did where we did a hot wing challenge and a spice challenge where, so the, we did the hot wings interview thing, which is a famous YouTube thing now. And we also <laughs> did this thing called like scorpion peppers. It was, it was chocolate Ooh. with like scorpion pepper in it. And then we dabbed some of that like ghost pepper hot sauce on it. And that's one of the hottest things that I've ever eaten because it would not stop burning until I got some kind of heavy cream or ice cream or something, and even then it sucked. It's just, I, it's not fun. Ghost peppers, the scorpion peppers, they're awful. I think the hottest thing I've ever eaten was a habanero, which is not a big achievement, but I really like spicy ramen, like the spicy ramyum Korean noodles. It's my favorite mm -hmm. thing. I love it so much. They're really good. It's so good. Oh gosh. Uh, God. Um, just a heads up. Um, for everybody, and I feel very yep. sorry for doing it, but currently my cats are on kind of a, a strict feeding regimen because Hob has been eating Goblin's food, and now Ooh, I have to separate what? them, which means yeah. in about 20 minutes, I'm going to have to let Goblin out of the bathroom where she's currently eating. <laughs> that is totally <laughs> fine. Good. So I might have to just quickly get up and do that at some point. You're fine. Doing the Goblin's thing. like, oh man, I bet I could eat and poop at the same time. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Is the small axe beak just a... Dodo bird. I mean. Oh yeah, that reminds maybe. me. Actually. A dodo? dodo, dodo bird. Yeah, a dodo bird. Dodo bird. No. Dodo widow. Yeah, dude. Okay. And then. I want it. I want it to be a bird. I, I wanted. I want to imagine it's just a really big woodcock. If if it's I an actual if bird. I sound, <laughs> if I sound like Dangly I'm out of parts. breath, my wife showed me something hysterical, and I'm trying not to laugh like an asshole. I mean, uh, Shin, thank you so much for the bits. During that ride, though, the thunderstorm. All I could think about is the chocobo theme appropriate oh god mike i think you for the 95 bits calling it now walker is going to have an unbreakable bond with otho and save him from the brink of death he's stepping in on my territory what the fuck are we uh, all blood back bank, thank you for the i think I so i think everybody's back Connor, you uh, here? blood bank thank you for the five bits i love monty and her ability to create wonderful weird and dumb creatures and burn thank you for the here what's up to azul j and that's hey it. you know that person but I've is everybody it. back do we have Mark mm -hmm. here? Actually, Mark is muted. Yeah, so. I'm here. I'm just Also, eating. I've decided okay. if anybody asks, my bird is officially non burdenary So we're going to go with that. Okay. Oh. All right. So Milo with a natural 20. Uh-huh. First of all, let's bring us yeah. over to the battle map here. Hooray. I was about to ask. There's a map. <gasps> Calm down there, <laughs> Bowie. Um, since it is dark, you guys really cannot see I can see. You have 60 feet of dark vision? I do. All right. Then I will reveal a little bit for you. Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to reveal all of it because for those of you who do not have dark vision, Be unless good. there is a light just source, pretend. you have disadvantage <laughs> on everything, basically, like to attack and, and whatnot. So you cannot see. 
All right. Bring you over to the combat field here. Way to oh. avoid saying map. Uh, Monty. Uh-huh. All the axe beaks look the same. They sure do. We've got my dots. Except mine. Mine is They're small. They're color-coded. Yours, Yours is, is small. small. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Milo, you were not mm -hmm. surprised with your natural 20. So during this surprise round, you are up, essentially. Um, I take it these guys are in cover. Yes? Yep. Is this person in cover from my position? He has half cover. Uh, Would they have half cover here? Yep. Is there a position I could be in where they would not have half cover? Let me just ask that question. Uh, like here. Dang, really? Yeah, they're currently half in that shrub at the moment, unfortunately. Hmm. Basically, they get a, a plus two bonus AC and dexterity saving throws. Boy, oh boy. Um... Hang on, I, I, I gotta double check a, a spell number here. Uh, Go for it. Otho, you are to follow as you are not surprised either as you got shot. Everybody else though is going to miss this first round of combat because you are asleep essentially and you were surprised, so. All right, screw it. Um, Can I physically see them? That's important. Uh, you can see them duck behind the shrubs there. Okay. Milo will, will bring up his gauntlet at hand. Only cowards hide in the dark! And I'm going to cast Fairy Fire. I mean, it, it, it's going to be in here. It's going to be these three. Okay. So, Alrighty. So boom. Make. It is... Uh, dex save, I think? Dexterity save. saving throw, yep. Yeah. DC 14. All right. Uh, this one succeeds. Mm-hmm. The dragon board succeeds. It kind of dodges out of the way. Uh, the middle one fails. The Goliath fails. So they are fairy fired. I'm trying to figure out what color I want to do for this. I'll just do that. And the human here uh, also fails and is fairy fired. Cool. They are shedding a dim light of 10 foot radius. Sure are. Yeah. They are now very visible. Uh, just remember that you are concentrating on this spell. Mm -hmm. No worries. Um, I am... I'm going to move... If I get here, I would have cover here and here, correct? Mm -hmm. Just right in front of my speak. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dash over and protect my little <laughs> dawn beak. It's like don't squawking be, scared. Don't make it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Everybody up! All right, Otho, it is now your turn. All right, I'm going to get back to my feet. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming I wasn't actually prone for that. Uh, you were not, no, but it's it All certainly right. got your attention. Yeah, the pain in my shoulder is, is radiating. Uh, I'm going to instinctively step in front of my little brother and uh, pull out my saber. Uh, and I'm going to also, in the same fluid motion, pull out a dagger. I'm going to look into these two flaming dots in this bush right now. Yep. Uh, and I'm just, I'm going to want to protect my brother, but I'm not going to want to get any further because of those sort of shaking in his boots right now. Uh, right. I will, however, throw a dagger uh, at this... So they are let's, behind let's total with, cover, so they are not targetable right now. They're behind total cover. Okay. Yep. Uh, wait, so then we can't see them. Well, you can see them now because they're glowing. You can see light, but you cannot, like, they're hidden behind something. Basically, something is covering them. So if you were to throw a dagger, it would just go in the shrub. It wouldn't like, even hit them. Like, I could see their ankles, so I could physically see them, but I wouldn't be able to target them with, like, an attack. Yeah. Mostly you case... heard them, Milo, because <laughs> over here you heard the reloading sound of a crossbow. So you were oh. like, right there and bam, that's how you did it. Fair enough. In that case, 
Uh, let me see. It's a bit of a sticky wicket. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am going to hold my action to uh, throw a dagger should one of these two pop out of the bush. Someone gets within view, you got it. Alrighty, Kai, surprise round, you <gasps> wake up and you are basically in the surprise round. Gaius, you also wake up as mm -hmm. well. It is now the enemy's turn. Troy, you dingus. Yeah. Uh... Oh, I forgot to roll for Rebu. Give me one second here. Jesus, Rebu. Okay. <laughs> he also rolled a natural 20. Oh! Oh. So he's fuck. also like, go awake. But he's not really aware of what's going on. I should remember to do that. I'm going to have the axe piece also on Rebu's turn if they become important. But most of them seem to be a little bit like freaked out at the moment. Alrighty, it is now the enemy's turn. Uh, this individual is going to pop out here, crossbow loaded, uh, and is going to ah! pop another shot towards you because you're standing up. Not with advantage. That misses. As he lets off the shot, you kind of duck away and it veers past your ear, and they move back into place, and you can hear them reloading. Uh, you hear some voices, and they go, No! No! And they yell. This guy is going to pop out, so Otho, your held action will go off. And you have yeah, advantage. He's, uh, he's just teeth gritting, pulled back away from his sharp fangs. Uh, he's, like, firing on all cylinders right now. He's just he's just giving away into his instincts. And you have advantage. Yep. Dagger Give him the throw. Yeet. Give him the funny hoo-ha. Attack. Uh, first one will be a 17. 17 nat 20, hits. Nat 20, nat 20. Uh, uh, 22. Uh, 22. Still hits. Still hits. He's going to take uh, six piercing, two sneak attack. You got it. Uh, wow. Yeah, so eight, eight damage total. Eight damage total. Not bad. As he comes around the corner, you just see a spray of blood as you hit the dagger into his shoulder, but he comes rearing up and to a downward swing with his mace towards Gaius, who is still lying on the ground, who has just woken up. Dick. Uh, oh, Jesus. That's definitely going to hit, I think. Uh, that's a 19. Yeah. That hits. All right. He does a downward swing with his mace. Oh, sad damage, though. Three points of bludgeoning damage to you, Gaius, as he swings down and hits your head. You have quite a bit of a resistance there due to your heritage. And it makes like a like a thunk noise, and he kind of lifts up, expecting there to be gore, and you're just wide awake staring back at him. He's like, oh, kind of looks a little startled at that. I sit up smiling at him. <laughs> you have pressed the Gaius button. <laughs> wow. Thank you for uh, activating Gaius.exe. Yep. Charging up from around the corner comes a Goliath with a <laughs> similar mace, and he's going to swing at you, Eastcan. Why? Because you're a juicy, juicy target. Uh, that is going to be a soft 20 to hit. Yeah, it did. It, it. Well, they're hitting, but they're not hitting hard. That's going to be another three <laughs> points of damage to you. Listen, that's a good thing. Alrighty, this fellow up here, the last one. Uh, the last of them. Oh, jeez. He's I'm gonna not do sorry. it. Yep. He's gonna, with disadvantage, aim a shot towards you, Gaius, because you are technically prone, so he has disadvantage with this shot. Uh, that definitely misses as you feel an arrow whiz over your head, Gaius. That ends the enemy's turn. Eastcan, you are no, now lo no longer surprised. Wow, uh, but that is the end. Often. That is the end of the surprise round, which now brings us to the regular turn order. Uh, Rebu pulls out two daggers and immediately charges this guy. Fuck. First swing. Hit him with the. Uh... That hits for three points of damage. Good damage. 
Good damage. Good damage. Revan is not a combatant. He is doing his best right now. And second top hand swing. That misses, unfortunately. He slashes front with one and it swipes again, but misses. The axe beaks at this point are all kind of like looking nervous and worried. Uh, Violence Kun over here, um, Kazuzu, <laughs> is like pulling at their reins. They just want to get let loose. Like they're ready to fucking go. Milo, it is now your turn as was, all your companions was, have now woken up. That was Pazuzu? Pazuzu is like wants loose, yeah. Pazuzu's red for violence. And you can see like currently he's like looking this way and he's like trying to pull three of his reins right now. He wants he wants war, he wants blood. Would would, would it take an action to um to to, uh, to to release the bird? Yes, it would take an okay. action to untie them. Um also just remind me of the rule. Um Spells and or arrows, we cannot shoot them through allies, correct? You can, because you're a small creature, so you can shoot through medium creatures and oh. vice versa. Cool. Uh, gauntlet hand raised, I'm going to launch a guiding bolt at the um, Goliath coon down here to the south. Goliath you got it. Coon. Do you have to concentrate on guiding bolt? Nope. Cantrip, it is, baby. It is, no, it's not a cantrip. It's oh, a light like cantrip one. for you. It's uh, it's a it's a passive effect, but whatever. I want advantage on my own attack. <laughs> I uh, mean, what? Oh no, never mind. Okay, hit. That'll be a twenty-four. Absolutely Ow. hits. Ouchie. Um, Go ahead and roll damage. Twelve. Oof, not bad. Chunky damage. As you let loose the bolt, it strikes the Goliath in the chest, and he's kind of ricocheted back, and Rebu kind of brings up his arms to protect himself, and he kind of uh, struggles back to his feet, and he's now... He's mm, extra glowy. <laughs> very glowy, yeah. Very bright. Uh, okay, I'm just curious. Um, and then I... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna free the beast next turn. Okay, you got it. You run over behind Pazuzu, who is like just frothing at the mouth, ready for violence. Would, do I have cover behind Pazuzu since he's so big? Uh, when technically, so yes. Big? You okay. do. Okay, that's turn for me. I'll say if that. I'll, I'll say the tree is enough to give you at least half, and with uh -oh. him, he is bigger than you, so mm. you could kind of hide between his legs. It's kind of a weird gray area. Yeah, yeah. I did the math. Pazuzu has an HP pool of 38. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> All right, got, that... he, I have been outbeaten by max HP. Wait, I think I got the names confused. The red one isn't Pazuzu. The red one's Violence. The Violence one. Walker, right? So that's Walker. Walker. That's yeah. Walker, yeah. Pazuzu's like... The uh, purple there. one, right? The purple one's Pazuzu, yeah. Sorry for the mistake. I'm getting these names I, I, that, down. That's I why I was I'm like, hmm, okay. Pazuzu wants Violence. Pazuzu is No, Pazuzu... <laughs> Pazuzu, for all intents too. and purposes, is currently sleeping, you think. You're not sure. <laughs> um, but Walker is no. wanting violence. Apologies, I got the names confused. All right, Milo, does that end your turn? Yes. Otho, it is now your turn. Uh, all right. Seeing as uh, hell is breaking loose, he just he just saw uh, both of his friends get get whacked with maces. Uh, arrows are flying everywhere. He's just in in like an animalistic sort of panic right now. Uh. I will and... say this before your turn continues. Escan, as you're kind of fully to your full height, like as you kind of wake up and you register, you recognize the human in front of Gaius. It's the one you saw at the tavern. This guy he here. watched you on your way out. Yep. Okay. Sorry, okay, uh, please continue. Yeah. Um, uh, Gaius is currently prone, correct? He is, yeah. Okay, so I would not get flanking if I just no, zoomed you around him. You get flanking still. So. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll just quickly shift my weight around him, and I will try to strike at him with my saber. Still you got, got it. Advantage. Plus two to hit, and you have advantage. Uh, nice. God damn. Natural twenty. Maybe? Just in case. No, nope. that's a twenty-four. Still. Twenty-four still hits. Natural nineteen. Uh, all right. Do it. Oh. I think that's max damage. Oh, Let's go. Oh, oh, max damage. Oh, that's Lord. 17 slashing it's damage. Eviscerated. Dear Goodbye. Lord. 
as you swing around and slash into this guy, you slash into his back, blood erupts across your face. He staggers and lets out a horrible scream, but he is still standing as he uh, turns and faces you, Otho. As, as the blood sort of splashes in Otho's face, he slowly opens his eyes and he takes off his glasses and tucks them into his pocket. <sighs> And that's my turn. All righty. That brings us to Kai. It is now your turn. As you are fully awake now, you are prone, so it'll take half your movement to get up onto your feet. Okay. Um, that drastically changes what I'm going to do, but okay. Uh, did I see the one that shot Otho, or can I tell who shot Otho based on what he was hit with and who's shooting? Uh, you did hear footsteps, and you did hear a, an armor shot to the, the uh, south west so i can tell that the wannabe dragon is the one that shot him you don't know if it's a wannabe dragon you've just heard noises because again you don't have mm -hmm. a dark vision don't forget guys yeah there's the not ones enough light the ones that aren't glowing you can't see so you have no idea you just hear sounds the only two you currently see are the goliath and the human who are glowing like disco lights the goliath in particular is this particular flavor of so i know club. somebody shot i just don't see who shot you have no idea who shot yeah don't, okay. don't use shat as the past tense of shot, please. Uh, Ouch, I've been Kai shat. is going to walk <laughs> forward past these two. One, two, three. Okay, that's two attacks of uh, opportunity. No, no, because I'm going to disengage, so they will not get a swing. Oh, okay. You got it. And he's going to stand there, and he's going to call out, Whichever one of you shot my brother, put your stupid weapon down or i'm gonna rip out your heart through your asshole and that'll be turn all righty that brings us to gaius i want to see if i at least hit him first you got it oh he's I'm a good gonna... plan i want to i want to see if i hit him first before i say what i want to say you know, yeah, it's always a good plan. 26 oh yeah oh god yeah <laughs> six uh, six, six I, he, you got it. He, he turns as he turns to Otho. He feels his elbow like fucking bend upwards as Gaius uses his shield to push himself up and then hit him in the elbow to like push his arm away. You weren't paying attention and then ram his head into his face. You got it. You ram the head into the face. You watch his blood just spurts out from his nose. His hood kind of flips back. You can now see his tangled kind of dark brown hair as he <laughs> staggers. He looks terrible. Cool. Uh, oh. bonus. What? Goblin must be released. Give me one second here. Sorry. I have Release your bonus cat. action, folks. Release the cat. Get on your feet. ba da ba ba Get up oh, and really take an seconds. action. Sorry. Okay. <sighs> All right, guys, please continue. I apologize. Goblin has been Bo loosened. Bonus action acrobatics check, uh, athletics check. You got it. 25. Nice. Oh, he's going to grab him. That's oh, yeah, one. you grab him. Uh, I pop his elbow, hit him in the face, and then grab him by the throat and choke hold him. 1d4 damage. Now, can you what? do a grapple check as a bonus action? Yes, that's Tavern Brawler. Tavern Brawler doesn't give it to you as a bonus action, I don't think. Does it? I thought it, I thought it yes. did after an after unarmed when you hit. Go again. I, I'm gonna post it. No, yeah, I'm gonna post this, it. Yeah, this mechanic, we might have to re- like, It's right here. It. Uh, you provision your provides weapon, your unarmed strikes do a d4 damage. When you hit a creature, hit a creature with an, strike, with an unarmed strike. Like... Right, okay, yeah. yes, that's right. Yeah, 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 go for it. So, I get- <clears throat> So he is grappled as a bonus action, and then what gives you damage when you grapple a creature? What is that ability? Use your unarmed strikes, to, and then... Where's my fucking thing here? Because he had fight. another thing that tied unarmed to your fighting. grapple. Yeah. Can you click that real fast? Uh, your arm is using budgeting damage. If you aren't wielding any weapons or shield, will you make the attack roll the die? Wait, then... So that should have just Brawler. been your regular attack. No, no, no. It's because Tavern Brawler is supposed to give me the extra 1d4. Yeah, but that's only when you is make an, an unarmed extra strike. 1D4? Or is it I just 1d4? Yeah, you don't get an attack when you do the grapple check as a bonus action. That's just Unarm something you in you inherently can do with a d4. Yeah. What? yeah. So basically what happens is Tavern Brawler would let you use a d4 for your unarmed strike uh, damage. You know, you know what? I'm not going to hold this up. Just move on. 
Okay, you have them grappled, though. You have them in a headlock. Just move on. Just move on. Yeah. Next bit. Literally All explaining right. it. Sorry, I, Shell gave me information on this, and we have to tweak it because, yeah, you don't get an additional strike as part of the Tavern Brawler grapple. You do it's still just, get the grapple, though. You still get yeah. the grapple, though, and he is grappled, so. All right, that brings us around to Gaia. Uh, that was Gaius's turn. It is now the enemy's turn. All righty. Let's see. There's options here. I'm going to start with the human guy. He's going to swing at you, Otho. Are we sure he's a human guy? Uh, and, that is an 11 to boot. hit. Uh, that is a miss. All right, as he goes to swing, you nimbly dodge out of the way. I I, I parry him with my saber and I say, don't you know how to use that thing? <laughs> uh, the Goliath is ignoring Reboon is going to swing at you, Iskan. Stop. Uh, it's also an 11. I rolled the exact same thing Ooh, twice. That'll miss. That swing, swing and a miss. This one here charges you, Kai. Uh, that is definitely going to miss. That's a that's a nine. That'll miss. All right. And then this lovely gent is going to move here. And he's going to fire a shot at Otho. Uh, that's going to be an 18 Otho to hit. That will hit. All righty. Terrible dice roll. Terrible. You take one point of piercing damage oh. as an arrow shoots you in the back. That ends the enemy's turn. That brings us to Eastgan. It is now your turn. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, I love that Kai is where he is. I really do. It's, it's just one of my favorite things. Uh <laughs> oh, okay. So... Zito, quick quick correction. They take one d four points of damage at the start of their turn, or start that, of your that's turn. That's what I was. That's yeah. what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. We're good. <laughs> All right, go for it, Eskan. Um, I uh, seeing the man glowing right in front of me, uh, mm -hmm. and the man currently wedged in a murder sandwich. Uh, Eskin's gonna shout towards uh, Gaius. That's the guy I saw at the at the inn. Don't kill him. Uh, and then I will uh, just uh, hold my hand out towards our uh, Goliath friend, who's right in front of me. And as I'm about to cast Ice Knife, I notice out of the corner of my eye that Rebu and the Axe Beak are right there. So maybe don't do that. And instead, I'll once again focus squint my eyes and his eyes will start to glow uh, with the color of stars and I will cast Guiding Bolt. Yeah, Bolt uh, Brother! Towards, towards the Goliath? Yes. So this is just a straight roll because you're firing ranged into melee, which would give you disadvantage, but you have an advantage because of Fairy Fire and Guiding Bolt, which means you just have a straight roll. Oh, because it's, it's a ranged attack spell. That's right. Yeah. Uh... That's an eight. That is an eight. As you bring up your hand to launch the spell, the Goliath ducks and it bursts past him and into the darkness beyond. Um. Well, now that I've scared him and he's slightly off balance, I'm going to use my bonus action to use my Hungry Jaws attack. Go right for attack. it. Give him that charm. Don't kill him, guys. Fight this guy's jugular. <laughs> no, this guy's different. Don't kill the human. <laughs> the Goliath is Jesus completely Christ. fair game. <laughs> well, at least you're honest. Christ. Uh, that's Well, it's a 16, but let's see if uh, yes. I can get a nat 20. Uh, I'll roll another d20 here real quick. Not a nat 20. So oh. 16 to hit. 16? For zero damage. <laughs> nice. You bite down onto his arm, but he flexes, and he actually was going to use his reaction to Stone's Endurance that, but since there's no damage, there's no damage. And he uses so, his reaction and... Here's yep. my question for you, because Hungry Jaws says, if it hits, you gain one temporary HP. Even though I did no damage, do I still get my one temporary HP? You sure do. Hell yeah. <laughs> Technically it hits, but yeah. You are, using, you are using your gums, not your teeth. Tech, let's go. <laughs> Alrighty, does that end your turn, Eskam? That'll be it. Alright, top of the turn order, Rebu. 
Uh, he's gonna swing with two daggers. Just make his turn nice and sweet and simple. You got advantage. Uh, good thing he has advantage. That hits. Good job, Rebu. Go, buddy. For three points of slashing damage towards this Goliath. I love that you're like, he's not a fighter, and he's done significantly more damage than I have. Oh. Oh, he has advantage still. Thank God. He rolled a natural one. So he hits <gasps> with the offhand strike. <laughs> which does an additional two points of damage. Not bad. Sick. Hey. Hooray. The axe beaks are all kind of at this point waking up and look a little bit like confused. Uh, and yes, Walker is like just ready to go. Great that boy. ends the axe beaks turn. Milo, it is now your turn. Also, Connor, you are breathing into your microphone. Just a heads up. I don't suppose axe beaks could hold actions, could they? You don't know. Cool. I will play the gambling game. Milo will just shout out, Be free, great warrior! And I'm going to unbind Walker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. I will say, I'm going to say that out loud. Be free, great warrior. With his held action, he blitzes out and immediately charges. Yeah. The... Do they have a dark vision? Hold on, I gotta look this up. I don't, I'll double check. They do not. Yeah, they do not. Yeah, then he's going to go for the Goliath because it's the only thing he can see right now that's immediately in front of him. He gets advantage. Uh, and since He's got you know, double advantage. Connor, it's your it's your axe beak. I want you to roll oh a d20 uh, plus. Let me grab their stats real fast. You have you double, have double ad advantage. You have double advantage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, roll a d20 plus four, please. With advantage. Oh, oh that is going to be a twenty win. Uh, Let's go. Yeah. That'll be, that'll be actually a, uh, yeah, a 21, or that's a 19 actually to hit. How is uh, it a 19? So plus, because, plus four. Well, you rolled a one and a seven, and it added those no, no, two it's together. No, no, a 17. That's a 17. Yeah. 17 so plus, plus four is 21. Oh, shit, I have no brain. I'm very sorry. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, go ahead and roll for me a 1d8 plus two, please. <laughs> oh. Ah. Uh, so three points three. of damage. As he actually Ooh. blitz onto the scene, immediately bites on the shoulder of this Goliath, who begins to just scream. Hey, real quick, um, my audio did a funny thing again, so I need to pause my recording and save, so we will have to rethink. Okay. Oh! Uh! I'm a. Oh. Chat, you know what that means, chat. I hope you're ready to sync with us. It's resync time. We need to have a <laughs> we, we need to have a sync emote like a like a bathroom oh, sync. We, sh we there's should. A, yeah. uh, we there's should. a there's a uh, <laughs> sync sprite from SRB2K. I think that could fit the bill for that. I'll I'll, yeah. I'll message Nutcase and be like Nutcase. I have a very strange request. Can you make us a sync? <laughs> have you ever drawn a sync before? Yeah, you just draw a sync. For uh, us. Just 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 to round out the turn, I'm just gonna get back in front of Don Beak and I'll be good for next. You got it. All right, let us know when you're ready there, Mark. Yeah, sorry, my audio is freaking the hell out right now. Yeah, so I lost everything after I declared that I was using Hungry Jaws. It's okay. Uh, so we'll have to grab that later. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I'm re-recording. We can sync again. All righty. All right. One two three sink. sink one two three sink sink, sink. one two three sink. sink sink good job chat sorry you know, you... all right that ends milo's turn that brings us to otho it is now your turn uh hearing Iskon say uh approximately take him alive uh <laughs> approximately. do not kill <laughs> otho is going to look at this very haggard individual He's going to be taking very deep, uh, long breaths as he's looking at this individual, almost as if, like, time is slowing down around him. Uh, and he's going to flick his saber uh, non-lethal. You got it. <laughs> That's a natural 20. Natural oh, jeez, thank hits. God for the declaration. Yeah, thank God. Go to roll damage. Uh, yes. And you also double your sneak, don't you? Yeah, you sure do. Uh, 
I'll just roll that again. So that's... Uh, I think it auto did it. Hold on. It already did it, I think. No, did it already it auto did no, it? it only no, did it didn't double thing. either of them. Uh, oh, it didn't oh, double the sneak attack. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Seven, so it's, two... It's nine plus ten, so nineteen points of damage. Nineteen points of damage. How do you knock him out? Uh... I... I... I see that he, I, I've, I've already, he's like staggering back from me parrying him with my saber. And I look up at his hands and I narrow my vision and I cut one of his hands off. Okay. <laughs> As you do so, you cut his hand off and he falls to the ground screaming and faints from blood loss. And I immediately whip around and I just start fast walking towards this uh, dragonborn. My you God, he said non-lethal, he's gonna bleed to death. <laughs> The well, least can said not to give him a hand. Is that what he said? Hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> hold up hold, holding like I, I was holding the guy. Now I'm holding his hand like the firm hand. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice to meet you too. Alrighty, Kai, it is now your turn. Hello, hand. I'm Gaius. <laughs> Thing. All right. You get here? Uh... <laughs> Kai will watch this person charge up to them, and as he deftly walks or uh, dodges out of the way of their attack, he's just going to glare at them and say, not you, and walk away. Okay, they get attack of opportunity. Go for it. Oh. Uh, that is definitely going to hit. That's a 23. That hits. You take. Oof. Uh, you take... That's going to be six points of bludgeoning damage okay. from a backward swing against your head. They will notice that as they cut into Kai, he doesn't even turn around to acknowledge that he was hit. He just walks through the blow and will keep moving. Yeah, that works. Um, and he's then going to walk around to the other side of this dragonborn, noticing that Otho is very feral. And I assume this thing is facing Otho, yes? Yes. This is the part where you die. And he's going to swing his rapier at him. You got it. Plus two. Yep. Uh, uh, but you have disadvantage because he's in darkness and you do not have dark vision. He's in darkness? Yep. There's it, no light nighttime, here. It's nighttime, buddy. It's nighttime. Yep. Okay. You have plus two, but you have disadvantage. So 12. That just hits. I'll take Ooh. it. For six For points six of damage. six piercing. Not bad. You think you can hide in the dark, you little fake dragon? And that'll be turned. Yeah, fucking rats. Can you hear him reload? <laughs> All righty. Like Task is crying. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Task wasn't wait, a dragon. Wait, no, no, no. That, I'm sorry. Caius. That, was that was this is crying. Caius, it is now your turn. Oh, but punch. <laughs> <laughs> just, just like from off the fucking like, just just fucking sound like displacement. Just fucking <laughs> slide this man upside the back of the head. The Goliath you got it. Go for it. Get your advantage. Here advantage I go. Advantage plus two. 26. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely hits. Bonk. 12 blood oh, damage. Big bonk. It. Yeah, he looks rough. Shit. As you kind of swing up behind and you just absolutely Gallagher punch this man in the back of the head. He slams into Walker and then kind of cushions the blow a little bit. He okay, kind of cool. staggers back to his feet. Cool. As he's getting back up, I, I like, I press him against Walker and I use my forearm to grapple him. You got it. Competing athletics? Yep. 25. Ooh. Yeah, no, it doesn't help him yet. Jesus. You have him grappled. You, you headlock him. He's completely grappled. You've been rolling 18s and 19s all night. Jesus. Fuck. He finally got a trial. I am what I am doing, what I am built for. <laughs> all right. Is that in your turn, Gaius? That's turn. All right. That brings us to the enemy's turn. Starting with the Goliath. 1d4 uh, damage. Yep. Yeah, uh, it's on your turn. It's the, the start, start of your, of your turn. turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, the Goliath, again, is going to swing at Eastcan. Why? <laughs> Uh, I literally haven't hit you. 11 that does not hit. It will not hit. The unconscious guy is going to make a death saving throw. <laughs> uh, that is a success. 
I mean, you cut off his hand. You yeah. cut off his hand. Yep. So he's he's bleeding out. Uh, that brings I'm us to out. this one right here. Once again, conga line, Gaius. Yep. Natural twenty. Nice. I'm very sorry. Uh, eh, the dice rolls aren't super great. That's gonna be two, seven points of bludgeoning damage to you from the crit. Ow! Don't forget your temp. My yeah, temp's gone. Temp. Okay. The <laughs> dragonborn gone. drops this crossbow, his heavy crossbow, and is going to pull out his mace, and he's gonna go for you, Otho. Actually, no, what? No, he's not. He's gonna drop his crossbow. And. Hold on, I need to check something real fast. Give me half a second here, real fast. What? That was half. That's half a one. He's got a breath weapon, V. He just might. It is a line. Alright. Kai, you get a. You get a opportunity attack if you wish to take it. I would love to. All right, go ahead and roll the hit. 23. That hits. Woo! Go ahead and roll damage. Hold on. 12 with this Sheesh! Ow. No, no, no. That's not uh, damage. That was. I have to roll with this advantage, hit? guys. It's oh, darkness. This, this, yeah. Yeah. It's still a hit. That still, still hits. That still hits for five damage. Say, Lordy. Relax. <laughs> yeah, that was, I was, for a second, I thought that was a lot of damage. I got a little you excited there. Kind of. You watch as this dragonborn kind of swings around in the darkness. You manage to strike towards its tail. But as it whips around, I need both Otho and Kai to make dexterity saving throws for me, please. Uh-oh. Okay. You're as, it, as all of you see a flash in the darkness as lightning erupts Likewise. from the mouth of this dragonborn. Ruh -ruh -ruh. 12. Double 12. Double 12. Double 12. Double 12. You guys meet the save. So that is a success. Woo! But you are still going to take half of this. Cool. As you both take three points of lightning damage that ricochets across your body in the darkness. <laughs> Owie. That... <laughs> oh my god, I that... imagine both of you just have Super Saiyan hair now. <laughs> <laughs> that ends the enemy's turn. That brings us around to Eastcan. It is now your turn. <laughs> this is gonna suck. I'm gonna uh, probably provoke, even though he's grappled, and I'm gonna step away from the Goliath. You got it. He's gonna he's gonna yeah. go for you. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be a twenty-two. That's gonna hit. You take six points of bludgeoning damage. Ow! Oof! That sucked. Okay. Um, I'm going to move next to the bleeding out man. Uh, okay. I would like to make a medicine check to stabilize him. You got it. Need a ten. Neat. Yep. Nice. You go over and you like tie off the like the stump arm and you kind of like sit on top of him and yeah, he's not bleeding out now. And he is still uh, unconscious. For my bonus action, uh, <laughs> I will, uh, from my position, reach a hand out towards Gaius. And Gaius, you'll see some little green glowy bits on some of your wounding as I use Healing Verd. Healing what's, Verd. What, but what's the word? Uh, it's, uh, no. Wake Bird up is the word. Three. I was about to say, someone please pick that up. Bird <laughs> is the word. Uh, so XP. you get seven HP back. Nice. Oh, cool. I'll back up. Ooh, All right. HP off. Let's go. E-scan. Is that end your turn? That'll be it. All right. Top of the turn order. It is now Rebu and the Ax speaks. Rebu is going to uh, swing at this Goliath with his dagger. Ooh, no. Oh, wait, he has advantage. He has advantage. advantage. Has advantage. Yeah, yeah. I rolled the same thing. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> 10 does not hit as he swings with the dagger. Plus two? Off. 12. Plus, oh, yeah, he's got plus two pranking. Yeah, so that does hit. Oh, shit. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. Eight. Two points of damage. Second swing with advantage. Uh, That also hits. Let's go. For one point of damage. <laughs> Let's go. The Goliath hey, looks damage. terrible. Uh, Walker. Oh no! Is, would like <laughs> to attack. <laughs> and his existence, Walker. <laughs> Just 
so you can you know those memes that have like the laser eyes on a character? That's Walker <laughs> yeah. right now. Yeah. All right, Otho, go ahead. A little motivated. If, if, if he had hands, he would be reloading a clock right about now. <laughs> Walker, go Texas ahead. axe beak. D20 plus four there, Otho, for your axe beak. With advantage. <laughs> Uh, 16. So that's a 20, soft 20. Soft 20, that, soft 20? Oh, right, yeah, that hits. Oh my God, my brain. Plus four. <laughs> plus four, I keep forgetting about the plus four. Oh, oh my God. God. Max damage, Holy that is fucking 10 shit. points of damage. That's, t <laughs> so Gaius, as you're, as you have this man in the grapple, you watch as the ax speak, as Walker just brings down the ax like a fucking guillotine and just cleaves this man's head from his shoulders Holy and proceeds fuck. to just mulch his head to pieces oh, as you drop the body. It just, it's like a constant thrashing of a jackhammer, leaving God, not that much witness. that remains. My God, he's dead. broken in half. Please don't make... cleave in half. Please don't make fan art of that. That would be very brutal. Oh God. <laughs> it's just, it's just digitally sensitive. I'm scarred for life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah you like are. You and Rebu are covered in gore. Yeah, I, I imagine that Gaius is just literally being showered Carrie style by blood, and he's just still smiling. And the, finally, the blood stops going. He's just like, cool. <laughs> All right, Milo. No, it is just, no, it's just, just mm, sick. <laughs> Milo, it is now your turn. Cool. Uh, I'm going to cast light upon my shield as my action. I'm going to run perpendicular to E-scan and, and yell out, No one hides from Orn's light! So now everyone can see and hopefully not have disadvantage anymore. All right, everyone can now see the battlefield. That is true. All righty, that brings us around to Otho. It is now your turn. Ancient shield of Orn. These are fine beans. birds, Mr. Esafrez. Very fine birds. Rebu looks uh, terrified as he's looking at Walker, who, by the way, is still going. He's still going. And Rebu just, like, gives you this really scared look, like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> These aren't my birds. I'm, I'm going to look up at this dragonborn. <sighs> Uh, I'm going to slowly stand up to my feet, and I'm going to use a cunning action to disengage. You got it. Fast boy. And I'm going to run up behind the one that is sandwiched you between me and Gaius. You cannot stand in that space because that is technically terrain, so you have to be off Fuck. the side. I'm very sorry. Uh, in that case, I will not disengage. Uh, I will simply move there. You got uh, it. And I will, I will swing my saber at that person. I'll get plus two because of the axe beak, no? Uh, sure, yes, wait. you do. Oh shit, I am flanking with Walker. Yeah, yeah. Hey! yeah you are, are you sure you don't want to do who's a good yeah, bird? You don't have to because you're still in <laughs> Gotcha. That's another natural 20. Let's oh my go. god. All right, roll that damage. Slice and dice him. Don't freaking Jesus. sneak up on our group, yo. Uh, that is going to be oh. four plus one is five to 17. 17 points of slashing damage. 17 points of damage. One sec, I gotta do math real fast. Uh, oh. 17. Mirth. Wait, that I had a confusion. Known, I was gonna have guys try and spare every single one of these people. I'm, I'm she confused. She lets Where are you out 17? a horrible scream as you slash up the back of her shoulder and she staggers forward. Uh, I'm going to twirl another dagger around in my grip, and I'm going to use a bonus action to attack her. You with got that it. dagger. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, probably not. Oh, wait, that's plus, plus two. two. Is a 12? That hits, yep. All right, this will be without my proficiency bonus. Or is it my ability modifier? It's, it's yeah, Profic without the, da the damage, you don't get the ability modifier. <laughs> Ignore that bottom number. Uh, yeah, that's a big number. That'll be a... Two. Two? Two points of damage. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Two piercing. Two. And you stab her in the back with your with your two points of piercing damage. Oh, this guy's totally yeah, dead. Yeah, and Sorry. then I, yeah, I'm just, I've got a grip on that dagger and I'm just hanging on to her. You and got it. And my turn. That brings around to Kai. It is now your turn. Uh, all right. Keep the train alive. <laughs> so Kai 
after that electricity courses through his veins, is going to move forward as he's kind of twitching his eye, his hand. It's still a little bit shaky. He's going to move into position. He's going to use his rapier. He is going to swipe at the dragonborn. Conga Got line. Plus two, and you can see, so it's just a straight roll now. You can see. He so can 15. fight. <laughs> 15. 15 hits. So that's Let's go eight damage. damage. Let's oh go. God. Let's oh, my go. God. Ty's fucking smanching some tough. You drive right the rapier kind of through the chest of this dragonborn who kind of struggles with you and kind of shoves you back and kind of grabs onto the wound and snarls at you, hissing and baring his teeth. I've seen wizards with better lightning. Turn. <sighs> All right, that brings us to Gaius. It is now your turn. The man uh, in front okay. of you at this point is just hamburger meat. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I want to at least like subdue hit with this. Before you got I, it. Before I describe the attack, let me see if I even hit. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 12. Oh, no, not a 12. No, unfortunately. As you go to swing, I'll roll severity. Wait, no, it's, it's... Oh, no, never mind. No, they're not glowing, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, it is just a miss. I rolled a six. So you okay. swing and they sidestep. She sidesteps your swing and kind of brings up her mace in like an attack formation, unfortunately. Fuck it. Action surge. You oh, got fuck. it. Let's go. Let's do it again. But better this time. Yeah, one more take with feeling this time. Yeah, that's Ten better. just Wait. misses. I'm so no. sorry. Uh, I'm cool. so sorry, Zito. Well, never mind. Move on. She kind of sidestep boxer dodges your swings, unfortunately. That brings us to the enemy's turn. Let's see. Yeah, the dragon is going to go for you, Otho. Mm. A fair judgment. Yeah, fair judgment. That is going to be a... Tw uh, actually, with plus... Sorry, one second. I the bonuses. It is just a conga uh, line of... 16. Flanking. 16, 16 hits. Okay. You take six points of bludgeoning damage. Hooey! You'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> this is, it's just, just the, the, the bulk. And his head's like like a U shape. <laughs> I oh, he just turns around. He's got a big dent in the top of his head. <laughs> <laughs> the woman turns you towards you and, and faces you, Otho. She is going to swing at you, Otho. <laughs> Clubs mm -hmm. coming out from stage left and right. <laughs> uh, that is going to be an eighteen to hit. That'll hit. Uh, not great damage. You take three points of bludgeoning damage. Does it matter? I am down. You are unconscious. You collide to the ground and you watch as the woman says, We just had to kill one of them! And that ends the enemy's turn. Beescan, it is now your turn. Do I. Do I unshift after I'm unconscious? I need to look. It should indicate whether or not you. Or if you're unconscious, if you keep it. That's a good question, Mega Man. No, I'm still shifted, actually. Until I right. until I die is when it yep. says. Then that I sounds about back. right. All righty, Iskan, it is now your turn as you see Ofo crash to the ground with two enemies right above him. Uh, Iskan's going to look over at Milo. Keep him alive! And I will point at... Uh, it was this one who shouted, we just have to kill one, right? Yeah, she just called yep. that out. Cool. Uh, she's gonna take a guiding bolt because I can see her now. You sure can. Which means. Oh the 23 my. hit. That absolutely hits. As it collides into her side, she's thrown into the, the, the brush. And she is glowing like a disco light as she takes 13 points. She uh is Milo, still you'll alive. You'll definitely notice that as he casts this, uh, his eyes glow the color of stars. Oh, which yeah. this, this may be the first time you're close enough to actually notice oh. it. Oh. Ow. Uh, oh, no. Connor, what happened? Then... I, I hit my tooth. Don't do that. Ow. That's bad. Um, and I'll... Do, do, do. Let's see. Let's see. That's an action. 
Uh, with his other hand, he'll reach a, uh, towards um, Otho, whose name I temporarily forgot, but don't tell anybody. Uh, and I'll cast healing for it again. Okay, technical question, because you did answer. cast guiding go- guiding bolt. As uh-huh. rules is written, you cannot cast two like spells in a turn. Leveled spells. Leveled spells. So is the guiding so, bolt count as a leveled spell or no? Uh, it is. It's a class feature, so I'm not sure. Okay. It, it's technically I, a level one spell. It is technically a level one spell. I will look into it. Do you want me to? I can do something else instead. I will let you do the the, the bonus action. I'll have to look into it. Okay. Because I do have a potion as well, so I can go over and force speed it. That, let's go with that. That might be better. Yeah. Just to Let's concern. do that. So if, if, Iskin will step through over here so that he's next to Otho, and he'll... Uh, oh, that would take an action, though, wouldn't it? It's bonus action. For bonus. Him okay. Bonus. So I'll, I'll dump out the potion into his mouth. All right, go and roll the potion. This is uh, 2d4 plus 2. I mean, yeah, kind of. Scoobity, scoobity, scoobity. That's 8 HP back. All right, Otho. You return to life. You are prone because you were on the ground, but you are back. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Citlalia. Don't thank me yet. And I'll kind of motion towards the dragonborn. And that'll be my Yeah, turn. they're both, you are like, they're standing above you like you are the world's best pinata right now. <laughs> <laughs> Can't oh, wait to see the oh, candy oh, inside. Oh, oh. Eastcat, does that end your turn? That's it. All right, it is Rebu's turn. Rebu. Uh, oh boy. He does not want to get into your guys' way, so he's going to run over here, and he's going to toss a dagger. Swift. The uh, lady. Destroy. She's uh, glowing. That, toss that a dagger hits. at your assassin. Oh, yeah, she, she has advantage. Uh, that'll hit. They take three points of piercing damage. <laughs> and Why is it the same hand? sound effect as when someone removes a cactus <laughs> needle oh, from that? Misses. Uh, Otho, your axe speak. Takes a menacing sidestep. Intestines is dripping from the beak, and yeah, it's gonna go for this lady. So go ahead and roll the hit. Everybody else is doing the ha ha. Walker goes. That's gonna be a fifteen to hit. Fifteen. Uh, that hits. Yes. Yep. 1d8 plus 2. Oh, Jesus. It's going to be 8. Jesus Christ. You made this, this bird. Cleaves down the center of her chest, and she is bleeding. She looks like uh, that she's on her last legs right now. That ends uh, Walker's turn. That brings us to Milo. It is now your turn. Oh, boy. Uh, seeing her actually attempt to kill a friend, uh, yeah. Yeah. So this this is just gonna be funny flavor because there is no there is no daylight. Um Milo will point his ever glowing shield uh at this woman, bathing her in light, but then the light intensifies little by little as a, a as a, a sacred flame comes down upon her. So All give right. me that deck save DC 14. Uh terrible. That's a 12. That cool. fails. She takes five radiant damage. How do you blow her up? <laughs> um she just, she, she, she just combusts. Right. She just starts. It's like when you use a magnifying glass on an yeah. ant. Like it just yeah, slowly begins to cook her, and she lets out a horrible scream as her body erupts into Dude. holy flame and Dude. collapses onto the ground. Dude, she fucking went out like a soldier that gets caught on fire in metal slug. <laughs> Pretty much, Milo, Milo just tilts the shield down until the beam con- uh, concentrates more and more until just fries. Um. What the heck was that? That yeah, they the got taken mirror, care of. The mirror on the boat that was supposedly basically a laser in ancient Greece. <laughs> oh god, what that ship, was that oh, ship of Theseus or Perseus or one no. of these. Well, that'll that'll be turn. I'm good where I'm at. All right, that brings us to Otho. It is now your turn. I'm yeah. going to get back to my. I'm gonna I'm gonna fart back to my feet and. Uh, you got it. Half your movement. Uh. Yeah. 
seeing as how there's only one left, Otho will just level his saber at this uh, person, and he's going to take a swing. You got it. <laughs> that is a 17 hit. 17 hits. 19. 14 slashing damage. Ooh, dear Lord. He, you strike at his chest. I mean, he staggers backwards. He looks very rough. I'm going to use a bonus action to try and dagger him. You got it. Uh, uh, 11? 11 beats the AC you hit. <gasps> Let's go. Jeez. <laughs> that will be... Wait a what? Whoa. That's one piercing damage. <laughs> one piercing damage. They are just barely alive. Oh, come on. <laughs> That ends your turn? Uh, yeah, I I just, I, I sink my dagger into him and I yank him forward while it's still inside and I just look him in the eyes. <sighs> All right, that ends your turn. Kai, it is now your turn. Dun, dun, dun. And Finish. as she looks him in the eye, I'd like to take a swing with the rapier. You got it. 25. That, total, <laughs> that hit, Christ. holy shit. Four. Man. All right, how do you kill him? As he turns around to look at Otho, uh, I want to knock him to the ground and I want to point my saber at his throat. And I'm going to say to him, I want you to beg for your life. Do we all hear he that? He spits on your face. I'm going to run him through the throat. All right, you <laughs> run him through the throat and he is dead. Are we the patties? And then I'm going to spit, and then I will spit on his face. I just wanted to punch things. Fucking hell. You all stand panting, wounds flaring, blood spilling. There is an unconscious man at your feet. Is, any, is anybody drastically hurt? I point at Otho. He, Otho? he, he sort of, he, he limply like, like, like waves his hands in dismissal. Thanks to Mr. Seat Lolly, I'll be fine. Oh, 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 right. Is, is anybody else hurt? He's a little scared. Kai. Otho, are you okay? I'm fine. I want to find out why they targeted us. Uh, you're gonna have to give him a minute. I'm looking towards yeah. the unconscious assailant. Otho, let's just let's get you sit just sit down somewhere, please. I'll be fine. No, yeah, you'll be fine in a minute. Come get over here. I'm gonna try to help you him over towards some place to sit him down. He uh, just sort of idly flicks the blood off of his saber and slowly sheathes it, and he fumbles for his glasses in his pocket, and he slowly puts them back on, wipes a bit of drops of blood off with his thumb, and then slowly begins to revert back into his uh, regular, uh, more humanoid shifter form. Walker is pulled away by Rebu as it keeps trying to just mash the bodies, and <laughs> Rebu's like, no, 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 and he ties him back to the tree. How Are about the birds start... okay? Hmm. Go ahead, Zeno. Uh, I was gonna say, I was gonna go ahead and search the bodies that aren't mashed to pulp by fucking giant axe beats. <laughs> okay. As you walk over to the, the dragonborn, uh, you dig around. Uh, he has uh, 15 bolts. He has a heavy crossbow and a mace. As you dig around in his pockets, though, you also find a pouch. And as you open it up, it contains 100 gold pieces. Oh, boy. I bet that was our bounty. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's not the quilted quicker picker upper. You also find, as you dig through the other side of his pockets, some folded up pieces of paper. Well, let's go the fuck ahead and read those. All right. As you flip through the first piece of paper, you see this. Loud, Mr. Agni, please. Huh? 
These five have been meddling in affairs beyond their understanding. Kill one as a warning, or all for a large reward. W.T. W.T. And as you flip through the next page, you see this. <laughs> Next time on Fort Dortsy. Oh. I, I think I think they went after the wrong one. Uh, and then you flip the next one and you see this. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, although I I don't know how to spell Rat Man in drawing. <laughs> you flip to the next one. I'm so scared. And you see this. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh my god. Honestly, that, that that's on, the most spot on one so far. Sullivan fits on the paper. Let's go. I, I am putting this <laughs> on, on the fridge. I am putting this on the fridge. <laughs> like the little you, glowing stars. <laughs> you flip to the next one and you see this. <laughs> oh no! He looks like a horse. <laughs> he looks like a really creepy Florida Gators mascot. <laughs> hey, what's going on? It's me, East hey, Dan. It's me. Hey, you got you got you know, it. It. Oh. Of the tricks. I'm How you doing? <laughs> you got some paper? Hey, I'm walking. Yeah. Can I interest you in Long some fresh baked garlic? I make maps and stars. <laughs> and uh, last but certainly not least, and the most artistically well done. Oh, for fuck's sake. Let's it's go. just handsome guy. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Ye old Photoshop. Are you shitting me? I've <laughs> 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 got, <laughs> got my likeness spot on. I bet Chad's losing their mind right now. Ye so we have a shop. Let's go. <laughs> oh my God. I, I pass everyone their own personal drawings. Wow. Uh... I'm keeping this. I look great. This it doesn't is look anything fan... like me. Fantastic. Uh, Mr. Agni, can I see that uh, the first paper that you found, please? Of course. He's, he's marveling at the other image that he hands you the fucking the first letter. <laughs> W.T. Now, who do you suppose that is? Winona? No. Wordna? Worm tongue? Maybe. Maybe that's the one. Worm I mean, tongue. I mean, we can interrogate this guy when he comes to. That is true, Mr. Brightbeam. All too true. Do we have that bucket? Aye, I do. Is there a place we can fill it up with cold water? I, uh, I, looked, at, I looked at everyone else. I don't know. It's where it's cold water. Uh, we're pretty far away from the river. I don't know about cold, but we can fill it with water. Anything works. Don't what I do you need it for? Not to wake him up, obviously. Uh, he passed out due to blood loss. I don't think some some water on his face is gonna wake him up. I have anything here. I just thought of something terrible, but I'm not going to. I was about to say I have a bot. I have a flask of oil. <laughs> Great. Now he's unconscious and oily. I mean, we could also threaten him now by setting him on fire. This seems to be Can we. We are not? fire force. We are fire force five. We're trying no, we're to not. keep him alive. <laughs> I think those are some other guys. Uh, well, so what you're right. saying is we only set him on fire from the waist down. I've been trapped in limbo for months. Yeah, that will kill him. Um, <laughs> you all can do what you want. I'm not going to judge you, but I'm not going to be a part of anything barbaric. I'm going back to bed. I know. I didn't plan on murdering the rest of them anyway. 
that was barbaric. Gone. The rest of them, there's only one left. No, taking a contract out on our lives, that is barbaric. Murdering people for money is barbaric. Banditry is, is barbaric. We are doing... Ooh, Otho, I'm sorry. You physically see Gaius wince when you said taking money on, on people is wrong. We are doing the land a favor. Listen, I know you're upset, but we're not going to learn anything if we kill him. I, the most we you can are do right. now is just, mm. just get some rest. I'll keep an eye on him. Well, by all means, take your rest. It was also my turn to watch very soon. Oh, here, guys, that reminds me. Uh, we could probably finally use this for something more important. Uh, I'm going to hand you the Roddy Hemp and Rope. That still technically works. Uh, 50 <laughs> feet. Yep. Do you uh, want to just do you want to hang on to that? You might have more use to that than I would being small and not strong. Yeah, I was about to say, can I athletics bind this man? Yeah, no check necessary. He's unconscious. Yeah, you bind okay, him up. Okay, sick. Sure. So I uh, bind him. Yeah, if you're sure, yeah, I could use the extra rest. Well, as I've stated, it is my it is my watch very soon. I will take point. All right. You guys, you haven't interrupted rest. You're going to have to restart your rest. Is that okay to do? Can we just, like, restart the eight-ish hour period and then just start at, like, 2 p.m. or something? Yep. You're going to have to basically... You're going to lose daytime, essentially. Oh, that's, 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 that's fine. fine. That means we won't make it to Madiamond. Today. No, we should be able to make it through the danger zone and get in just really late at we, night. We, I have either late at night or just as it, the sun's about to rise. Yeah, because uh, we we're just at the cusp of the no-no zone, and we should be able to make it all the way through. Well, if, we're, if oh. we're taking half the day before we start, I don't know. I'd, I'd just rather be at full before no, we do literally I'm, anything. I'm 100% so. with you. Look, yeah, we fucked get, up our get, internal clocks, unfortunately. You will get right here. You will not make it to town unless you push ahead and take an exhaustion point, essentially. Which we oh, that's might... That's a darn it moment right there. Well, I mean, is it going to matter? Because if, yes, if we get... some of the... us already have an exhaustion point. Yeah, my if... bird already has an exhaustion. Let me finish. If we take that full rest, all of our exhaustion should be back to normal. If we take the one and immediately go into town, we'll rest the one off. We could stay in Mattiamon for a few days. Your weather check also may affect things, so don't forget about that. Well, mm. that's fair, but Monty, you're making us high rollers in this game. Don't say that. <laughs> you, you've cursed yourself before, but I'm just warning you, you know, that is something that is a rogue element that you're not aware of, is what the weather will be. Why don't be we anything. make a decision based on what the weather is when we wake up? That's fair. Yeah, yeah. Probably a good idea, yeah. We could also turn back to Roscoe Air and, and wait it out. Yeah, if we need to. But we should if sleep we need now, to. and then when we wake up and roll, we'll figure out what the weather yep. looks like. Agreement. Okay. You guys restart the rest. I'm assuming you're going to repeat the same watches. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, this this uh, time, Kai is going to stay up with Otho. Here's, wherever uh, here's, he goes. Here's my question, because Guy has technically got his full eight hours, right? No. Uh, no, it was interrupted with combat. It was interrupted before his shift, and he had last shift. It does not matter. It was interrupted, so unfortunately, the he whole lost his full the rest. whole the whole cycle has to complete. Yeah. Okay. So, do we want to just reverse the watches then? I don't know if it'll matter. Since it'll it be was daylight. almost Gaius's rather than restarting at the top again. You know what, money? If it's still dark, I'll just go first. Let's make this easy. Okay. okay. As you guys set back into bed, the axe beak settled down. Walker is like looking around twitchy and kind of like ready Murder. for more. <laughs> uh, Milo, go ahead and roll yeah. a perception check for me. Mm -hmm. Nine. Makes sense. I'm tired. <laughs> you were very tired. Yeah. You settle down. Everybody else goes to sleep. Um, Do we have this guy tied to like a tree or something so it doesn't I hop away? I imagine you do. You also have two axe beaks framing him, you know. <laughs> Sizing him up, <laughs> ready to go. also <laughs> suffering <laughs> blood loss. I don't see him having the strength Bro, to Bro, I'm sorry. Did we, just, did we just tie him up, put his head on a stump, and Walker's right above him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just He's ready. One twitch, and you're gone. Give Bastard. me a reason. Who would like to take second watch? Give me a reason watch. to use the, the guillotine beak. Uh, I guess Iskan can take second watch. Okay. 
He's going to go ahead and roll a perception check for me. Uh, is it dawn yet? Uh, at this point, yes, it would be. So you have no disadvantage, actually. Okay. Back to streams. Uh, 13. 13. As you kind of begin your watch, you look down from where you've, you've come from, Roscoe Air, and you notice four forms kind of in the distance near a tree. Not moving, but large, whatever they are. Oh, fuck. God damn it. With my special eyes, am I able to focus on them and potentially figure out more details? You'd have to get closer to, to ascertain what they are well, with I'm that perception check. I'm not doing that, but I'll keep an eye on them. Okay. Time oh. passes, those figures remain, and your watch comes to an end. Money, quick question. While we're on watch, can we perform actions and not interrupt our own cycle? If we are alone. You, you can only really do, like, small actions, like, you know, sharpening a weapon or reading through your book. It has to be very minor. It can't be like, okay. I'm going to do, like, a big old spell attack or whatever. It has to be okay. on the down low. Yeah. Uh, who would be next? Uh, I'll, I'll go third again. When okay. I... Oh, Thelma and Kai? Uh, Both of you Iskan, roll perception checks, please. I was going to say, Iskan will wake you up. Presumably, if you were getting rest. Uh, yeah, Otho was, Otho was like, clinging to Kai a bit in his sleep, and uh, as he, he's, he appears to be dreaming, he's just got, like, a, a snarl on his face. Uh, Iskan will sort of uh, loudly clear his throat in front of you rather than risk touching you right now. Mr. <sighs> 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 uh, Seedlow. Yeah, uh, sorry to interrupt. Um, it's your turn no, for watch. please. Yes. Uh, yes, thank you. Just, you know, uh, just so you're aware, and he'll kind of point out where the four figures were. Uh, I can't really tell what those are, but uh, it's worth it to keep an eye on them. And uh, just do me a favor. Don't, like, he kind of, like, glances towards the now hostage. Just don't kill him. Well, we need him. Why would I do that? You tell me. Alrighty, anyway. Otho. Then he'll go to bed. Go ahead and roll a perception check for me, Otho. Uh, Perception. I don't have advantage because I already shifted today. That is going to be I another check. <laughs> I was going to ask if I could aid him on the check, though. You are not woken up, to my knowledge, but if you want to be roused, if, if Otho, you want to rouse Kai. Well, I, I Kai, did say that this can... time I wanted to get up with Otho. That's why he, he did say that. He did say then it. go ahead, Otho, and roll with advantage. Woohoo. Oh, what? Do it again. Uh, do it again. What? <laughs> oh, oh, God. Uh, so it's 10. Well, it only ends. <laughs> well I test. tried. Similar to Eastcan, both of you notice the large figures kind of uh, southward off the side of the road near a tree. They're not moving, per se. Like, they're idle, but they're not, like, approaching and they're just kind of staying where they are. Um, would I be able to tell if they are keeping an eye on us from a distance? Uh, not with that perception, no. <laughs> not at all. Would I be able to roll it again if I got closer? You may roll if you wish to. Do you want to stealth or are you just approaching? I'm just going to walk towards them. Okay. Oh, boy. As you walk towards them, how close do you get? Uh, how far are they away? Uh, well, God, like a couple hundred feet almost, maybe more. Let's say move a hundred feet, so not quite halfway between us and them. Okay. Go ahead and roll a perception and check. And just kind of narrow the eyes and try to look, because at this point they know where we are. Uh, perception. How's a 12 do you? 12. They are horses. There are four horses tied to a tree. Oh! Oh! <laughs> wow! Hey, horses. hey, free horses! Free horses. O Otho, you will watch as Kai moves a little bit closer. He begins to pull a arrow out of the, uh, out of off his back, and immediately stops about halfway, and puts it back in and starts walking back. Horses. Probably belonging to these brigands. It makes sense. We should probably we'll let cut them, them loose and send them back to Roscoe Air in the morning. Yeah, otherwise they're gonna die tied up. 
Yes, yeah, they don't deserve that. that. Even though their masters Jinx, do. Jinx, you owe me a soda. <laughs> What's a soda? <laughs> like a fizzy, it's like a fizzy. You, get, you need to get on the road more. The merchants. Uh, apparently, I, apparently I do. Did wizards? Hi. <laughs> Choose one amongst you to roll the weather for the day, please. Oh, not no. me. <laughs> Too, <Nah>. late. <laughs> Too late. Fine, no. I'll do it. You're rolling high, so maybe you're due That's... to roll low. Uh... That's not how odds work. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, but maybe how uh, evens work. Can you roll? Okay, that's good. That's good. It's fine. It's See, uh, get off my face. Uh, it's better than last time. Okay. It is not enough to be a hindrance, as you guys have set up tents. But there is a light All rain. Right. There is a light rain. There's a no wind whatsoever, and the temperature is normal. Who's taking last watch? Uh, I, I think Gaius had last watch. Gaius, uh, yeah. Before right, we Gaius. wake up Gaius, as, as Kai is going back to bed, he's just going to... I assume Otho's going to wake up Gaius, yes? Yeah. Uh, as Kai is going back to where the two of them were sleeping, he's just going to say to you real quick, By the way, Otho, you were right. Right about what? Using what I know did help. You were a whirling dervish out there, brother. Yeah. Yeah, I was. And he's gonna go to bed. All right, Gaius, go ahead for me and roll a perception check. You you rouse Gaius. His fist goes up in the air, like vertically up, like. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Just right, me, wait. distract me. Oh fuck! I didn't mean to click that. <laughs> <laughs> Punches me. <laughs> Just Juno throws you onto the floor. <laughs> well, I can't believe you killed Otho. Now well, Kai has to kill you. You're not a mace. You. That's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Jesus! I have two dents in my head now. <laughs> Just look like sorry, an animal. Did you get back. the number of that uh, donkey cart? <laughs> I, I didn't fucking mean to hit that. I'm sorry. All right, perception. Wee hoo. Seventeen. Okay. You also see the large figures to the south. Oh, you didn't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, w I would have told you they're horses. Okay, okay, fair enough. Yeah, which you know as the horses. And as you keep watching the rain patters, you hear a... Uh, groaning noise from the area of your hostage as this human man kind of blinks awake and bleary-eyed opens up and looks towards you. And as he meets your gaze, there's a moment that passes and he just goes, Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, fuck indeed. He's awake! I have to ask, we is all this going to interrupt our rest? Nope. You all okay, gain the benefits cool. of a long we got rest. A rest. Yeah. Hey. Hey. I will be the first one to walk over and stare down at him. You haven't killed me yet. It means you probably need something. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. I believe so. Who drew this? <laughs> They're awful. <laughs> I like how that's where we go first with the interrogation. Nope, like, that was exactly what I wanted to do. I yep. wanted guys to hold the thing in front of him. And We're go, off to a this? rousing start. I'm here for it. Let's go. Answer the question. <laughs> Some weird twitchy fuck who hired us. Said he threw them himself. We had to try our best not to laugh lest he fucking kill our asses. Mm. And who is this fellow? Called himself Worm Tongue. There it is. Rogue I guy, knew it. greasy hair, had an ogre zombie with him. Let me guess, he didn't move his mouth when he talked. Sorry, no, wait. But... Hold on. What was that last part you said? He has an ogre zombie with him. Ogre zombie. Looks to Kai and Otho. Is that a thing? It's very Not much that a I've thing. seen. It's very much a thing. Just look over to Kai. We fought zombies before. Just takes a lot more to get something like that. Where so did he what... meet you? He surrounded our camp one night. We're not exactly the most uh, 
welcome individuals. It was him and that ogre zombie, but I could just feel that there was more out there. He said he had a business proposition. Gave us a generous forward payment. 100 gold each. Each? And, and double that if we killed at least one of you fuckers. But uh, he looks over and he sees the dead bodies of his companions. Didn't go so well. Did not go so great. No, okay, but it did where, not. Where were you when he, when he got to your camp? We were uh, between Sablon and Quincunx. That's where we met him. I don't know where Sablon is. Uh, looking to Otho, uh, we know where Quincunx is. Where's Sablon? I would know that, right? Uh, roll. Oh boy, this is a hard check because this would not be somewhere you would go. I'd say history check. Sure, I'll say history check. Can I guide it? May I guidance this? Can I also roll a history check because I read the books? You can only guidance one person though. That's fine. I will. Who's who's got the better int? Or yeah, int. Uh. Okay, I'll help Otho. It's fine. Otho, go for it. You've got expertise. I feel like that would be more more. Here we go. Uh, twenty-two plus D four is going to be a twenty-five. Well. That's a 12 I will for me, so good luck. on the map for you guys. Holy as shit, I get yeah. have the higher yeah. history check. Map, map, As map, I get rid of map. this beautiful art here, I gotta quickly minimize it's it It's the map! I'm the I... map, I'm the map. You have to upload these to the to the Discord. I will, I will, I will, I <laughs> will. They will riot will, if you don't I, put I, these I up. Said, also, sent, they have to go in the art show. They will be displayed in their glass. I, I sent the Kai one to Arkhoff to get his opinions on it, and apparently he spat out his drink all over his keyboard. And <laughs> oh, had my God. <laughs> Excellent. I'm going to make that my icon in the server. There's nothing uh, quite as great as making Arkhoff spit his drink. Right there. Hang it out. Ooh. Mm. Okay. To, to the, the north uh, west. North, northwest of Queen Kung's. Okay. Uh, how long ago was it? Oh, God, it's like a couple weeks back. So he's probably not in the area anymore. No, no. Last we saw of him, it seems like he was heading east. Can I insight him? Go ahead, yeah. Is he, is, I'm, I'm trying to get a sense of if he's being forthcoming because he knows we could just kill him. Uh, or if he still has a reason. Yeah, to I'd, I'd like to do that as well. Go for it. Uh, 17. 21? Okay. He, his friends are dead. You have him tied up. He knows better. He's just okay. telling you what mm -hmm. he knows because yeah. he's like, nope, fuck it. I got fucked. I'm not, I'm not, nope. <laughs> I want to live. No, no, nah, I nah. Is no. he, is, real quick, Money, this is important. Is he distressed? Like, I know uh, obviously. So he seems more like exhausted for obvious reasons. He's right. probably lost a lot of blood. This seems just for, with your insight in particular, Milo, this guy already looking at him, like he's got scars all over the face. His hair is all matted and he looks like he's had a rough tumble of a life. Um, really quick guys. Um, keep talking. I'm I'm going to go get some things. Um we did we ever col did we ever loot all of the bodies? Just the uh, one. you only looted the dragonborn, yeah. Can I go grab what's left? <laughs> sure. No, 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 no. No, no. There's a sparkling no. gold coins in a no. pile of gore. No, no, no. I I I want to I want to do something. I want to I want to do a very character thing for him. Um just whenever whenever money Sure enough, as you go through the what remains of the corpses that are just, again, some of it, like the Goliath is just mincemeat at this point. Um, you do eventually find pouches that have 100 gold pieces in each of them. How many pouches? Four, three? Uh, there are three, yeah. So there's one from the dragonborn, one from the human woman, and there's one from what was once a Goliath. So uh, we just got, as a group, 400 gold. Yeah, dude. Well, we didn't is, um, take the gold off the prisoner yet, I don't think. Is um is there anything else on their persons of importance? Uh, 
the Goliath had a mace, and uh, the woman had a, a heavy crossbow and a mace as well. Okay. The bolts are, like, so kind of mangled that there's only a few left. I wouldn't be able to use that heavy crossbow, right? Because it is so big. No, it is a big weapon, okay. unfortunately. That's it's a ballista for you. <laughs> Basically, yeah. You'd shoot that and fly backwards. Fire yourself. <laughs> yeah, you just go Doom Slayer. This thing's got quite the kick. Um, <laughs> this, this is important for a roleplay thing for him. Can we go ahead and just divvy the gold now? This is important. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sure. I still do you want to take... It was... Do you want to divvy up the 300 or do you want to check him for money? I mean, we're checking, checking everyone. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he has two daggers. Uh, his okay. mace is on the ground. Um, and he has, yes, a pouch with 100 gold. Cool. I'll, I'll take those daggers if nobody wants them. That's I'd fun. like them. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think we should probably take him to Lieutenant Snow. Okay, so really quick, above game, we each we're, we're each given eighty gold. Uh, I'm not okay. taking any. You're not taking any? No. Okay, so let me recalculate that. That gives by everybody a hundred then. Yeah, hundred. Yep. Yeah, hundred even. <laughs> All right. <sighs> that uh, fucking finally some gold. By the way, Mark. <laughs> uh huh. Good role play. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> guys. As as you kind of divvy up the gold, the guy just kind of goes. I'd say it was hard earned, but uh, I'd be lying. Guys, yes. can, he, can he can he give me a minute with him? What are you trying to do? Nothing egregious. Just I want a moment. By all He's means. Kinda... Oh, go ahead. No, he, that's all he's still gonna say. It's just by all means. Uh, Eskin will give you a look. That says he's worried, but he trusts you, and he'll step away. Um, Milo is... <laughs> Sorry. Oh, jeez. Milo's going to go up to him and offer him a ration. I know he probably can't take it because he's bound, but... You look hungry. Do you want something? Is it poisoned? I take a, I take a bite out of it for myself. Nope, not at all. Damn, it's too bad. I was hoping it was. He opens his mouth. Give it to him. What's your name? Shoes on it. Joe. Joe, huh? Joe S. All right, that's fine. What are you gonna do now? <sighs> Sounds like your buddies are gonna take me to one of the land guard and I'm gonna go to jail. That's not set in stone at the moment. What do you want to do? Oh, that's a big question, little man. That's a big question. Well, what I'd like to do is kill the fucking dragon that blew up my home. That's what I fucking love to do. Which that's not realistic. Which dragon? A yellow dragon. You haven't heard? No, we haven't. A, fuck a fucking yellow dragon descended upon Kutchner's Cove and blew it the fuck up. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did, were, was it just the two of us that learned about the yellow dragon? No, it wasn't. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, I'm sure you are. We Anyway, lost... people got scattered this way and that. When I was younger, I did some unsavory things, and I may have relapsed back into doing that. At first, it was just hunting down goblins, but uh, an offer like that, whew, can't turn it down. Especially not when you're surrounded by God knows what. So that's the thing. I kind of understand that. Do you? I can't say that I know one-to-one, -one, but when desperation hits, I kind of get it. Hmm. Look. Yeah. You let me talk to them. I want to let you go. But you got to promise me. Go to Motorola. Go find honest work. I'll get you gold to get there, and I know a guy that can get you a prosthesis. Roll persuasion check. 
22. He looks at you and he looks over towards uh, the rest of your companions. He goes, one step at a time, boy. Good luck. I'm sorry, above game. I'm not sure. Was that an agreement? <laughs> That's he looked at your companions and says, one step at a oh. time. Good oh, luck. Oh, 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 As got if to say, it. like, good luck convincing them. That's where you're putting the cart before the horse. All right, give me a moment. Hey, guys. Mr. Brightbeam. Come back over. I talked to our friend Joe over there. <clears throat> Apparently, his home was destroyed by a uh, yellow dragon over Kutzner's Cove. Any of you know about that? I do seem to remember Kutzner's Cove having a dragon problem, and I remember something about a yellow dragon. Uh, it makes sense to me. He's been through enough. I want to let him go. <laughs> Surely you can't be serious. With a look in my eyes, I've never been more serious about anything. He, want, he wants to... He, listen. He wants to go south to Motorola. wants to get on his work. We yeah, all deserve... And yesterday, he wanted to kill us. He wanted to kill us because there was nothing left. He was trapped in a corner. He had no money, no home. Although I think you can understand what that's like. Milo, we all have been in the same position, but none of us are going after just random people trying to kill them for gold. And that's why we have to be the bigger people. Let me ask you. You said he wanted to go to Marualo. Is that what he wants or what you want? Should I? Because if he wanted it, he could have done that already. Sometimes it takes a really hard lesson for a person to change. A really quick money... Would it be worth rolling a, a um, insight to see if he was actually considering it? Mm, probably not. No, not okay. at this point. You, okay. If you wanted that check, you would have had to do it at the time. That's fair. Not, so. That's fair. Yeah. Listen, Listen. I, I know we're all, I know we're all angry and tired. We're being hunted down, and we've got the weight of the world literally put upon our shoulders. There has to be some amount of mercy and grace to all this. I think taking him to Captain Snow is mercy. You put him in jail. That's what's going to happen. Then what? Is he going to get work in jail? Even after he gets out of jail, is anyone going to hire him? It's not our job to sort out his problems. But if exactly. we let him go, how do we know he's not going to run back to But we job? have the choice. We have the choice to do something right. Milo, I admire that you see the good in everybody. Honestly, I do. But you're asking us to put literally our lives in the hands of someone who just tried to take them. Of a, of a one-armed man who's tied to a tree with no weapons. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna go back to Wormtongue, get another try? Wormtongue will probably kill him for failing. You know that. We That's don't know true. That. He yells, because you guys are yelling and he can hear. We don't know anything about him. We have his name and now a description. That's all we have. We don't know why he's doing this. We don't know what he's trying to get out of it. We don't know if it's related to anything else that we're already doing. We we know all of those facts. We know that Wormtongue hired him. Wormtongue's been after us. Wormtongue's been trying to put a, a monkey wrench in all of our plans. He was hired because he was desperate. Hey, hey, hang on a second. Hey, guys. Gaius is paying attention. He's just like overhearing the whole conversation. The fact that he, like, he like his body, like kind of like jerks to the side the moment you mention his name, and he looks to you like almost with a dart. I have a question for you. You've done stuff like this before, right? You work for money. What do you think should happen? Put 
put me on the spot. Because you probably have the best perspective. The fact of the matter that we kept him alive this long, we've got our answers out of him. I don't know. That, that already is a mercy in of itself. The fact that we're addressing the idea of just letting him go is an even bigger mercy. His job failed, and therefore, judgment now falls upon us. With the contract go? incomplete, you are now, we are now basically putting his life in our hands. So what would you do? I have the strength to forgive and let him continue. That, of course, would allow him to try again. But I also am speaking under bias that this is work I've taken because it's something my uncle has done. And I fear that my answer might invoke ire between at least the most of you. I look over at Otho. Otho just, Otho will slowly turn his head and cock his eyes towards Gaius. It's ire I think I've felt this whole time ever since we came to this part of the world. So you'd let him go? I would. And Milo, you'd let him go? I'm the one fighting for it. Shall we put it to a vote, then? Like we usually do. Democracy wins. I think that's fine. I mean, what do you want to do, Otho? We don't have time for this. I think we, we need do. to move on. We're kind of deciding the fate of somebody's life here. I think it's worth taking the time. Rebu kind of looks between all of you and goes, I'm going to saddle the axe piece. And he just turns around, just completely like, I don't want to be part of this, and just walks yeah. away. Thank you, Rabu. You got it. Fine. Raise your hand if you want to set him free. Immediate hand raise. That's one. Does, does Gaius also raise his hand? Gaius looks at Otho real quick. He he looked disgusted even saying that. I fear that if we keep traveling together and my uncle does make an appearance, something I kind of hope and wish to happen at some point in our travels, I fear you might think little of me. We will cross that bridge when we get there, Mr. Agni. For now, we have more important matters to attend to. As I think a great I... deal of you. As much as I am one who advocates, com uh, advocates combat, I advocated for sport, not for judgment of one's life. I hold my hand up. That's two. Looks around. Kai's looks to look everybody. At, Kai's going to look down at the ground to avoid Otho's eyes. And he's going to raise his hand. That's three. Majority win. I don't ask any of you to give up anything to Cinema's way. I'll take that responsibility. This no. was my idea. That's where, I'm, that's where most of my mercy dies. He did try to take our lives. I would say what he has on him now, out of what we've taken from him, that's penance enough. You want me to keep your things? I will go and tie him. I want I... him to walk away. 
when he is out of sight, we will destroy his ob we will destroy his weaponry, and then we will move on. All right. I'm gonna go over to Joe. Okay. <sighs> looks I didn't looks like I didn't put the cart before the horse after all. Is that so? He looks over towards your companions, who I imagine are all just staring daggers at him. <laughs> uh, Iskan's face is pretty neutral right now, actually. As is Gaius. So it's what's it going to be? Death, jail, or you're going to send me on the road? What's your plan if we set you on your road? Well, if you're not going to take the horses, I'm going to take a horse and I'm going to head back to Rasco Air. And then what? Probably get a, probably get a drink, and maybe head west. And then what? What are you gonna do with your life? What kind of fucking? I don't fucking know, dude. I don't know. Well, it looks like you got plenty of time to think about it. And maybe I'll do that. I'll think about it. I want to incite him? <laughs> May I, Monty? Yeah, go for it. I mean, what you see is what you get. That's fair. <sighs> All right, fine. Um, you let him go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Gaius walks towards him, grabs him by the collar of his shirt, <sighs> lifts him up off the floor. <clears throat> Will not come for us again. My mercy will be lacking at that point. I push him away. Yeah. Yeah, the poster was right. You are fucking strong. Lesson learned. I get it. He kind of does like a sort of passive sort of nod towards all of you and kind of staggers forward, kind of gripping his now missing hand. Uh, and he is going to head towards the horses unless anyone stops him. I will hey. actually. Oh, well, go for it. No, go for it. No, no, <laughs> you're first. You're closer. Sorry, we're a little riled up. Yeah, I thought. Kind of rubs his neck. Notice that. Understandable, given the night. Sorry about that. Look, just think about it, all right? Here, I'm going to give him nine gold. He takes it. Take it for travels and lodging. If you want to find a prosthesis, Motorola is going to be a best bet. Yeah. Ask for a guy named Hans. Hans. You yeah. can't miss him. He's, he's basically a, a metal wooden guy. It's he really weird. He puts up a hand towards you and goes, Listen. I'm going to try and get through this goblin infested territory first. I'm going to take this one step at a time. Couldn't ask for anything more. And he begins to walk away towards the horses. Hey! Turns back towards you. Kai's gonna walk over, take out a single gold from his pouch, and coin flip it to him. He catches it with his good arm. I wanted you dead. Well... Same here. Seems fair. Life isn't fair. But you do have <laughs> a second chance. I say this and with respect. You are some of the weirdest people I think I've ever met. I'll take that as a compliment. And not that I'm about to be some weird fucker's messenger, but you've got his attention. In his words, he said what we would do in here would be slapping the back of your hands. I don't know what the fuck you're doing, but if you're going to do it, don't lose each other, all right? That's sound advice. Aye. Take care. You too. What? And he disappears off the beaten path. As he walks away, Iskan is going to step next to Milo. Mm -hmm. And he's still looking off 
uh, in the direction that Joe went. He's not looking at you when he says this. Mm -hmm. um, but you'll hear from him. You realize there's a strong likelihood he's not going to make it to a city. Or did you forget? These lands are swimming with ogres, goblins, possibly undead. I think he'll make it. He was able to give us a drop. We could have taken him back to make sure, but now we'll never know. I think it's better that way. I think it's better that he gets to choose what he does. It may not be his choice to make. And Easton's gonna walk away. <sighs> it might not. As you all mount up Can on your axe beaks, Rebu kind of pulls out the birds and it's like, all right, we need to get moving. You all take a Car moment to look at the carnage around you. But what's up, Bosco? Oh, I was I was just gonna say as he's he's gonna go grab his bird from Rebu, and as he passes Otho, he's without making eye contact, just gonna say really quick. I'm sorry, brother. Democracy wins, and he'll step forward and go prepare his axe beak. Also release the horses, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. You watch, as, you watch as one gallops away. Presumably Joe ri rode it off. The other three, though, um, yeah. you do go and let loose. Yep, gonna go let them loose and uh, try and, like, have them run off uh, back down the road towards the township. They seem to do so. Yep. As you all mount up the light, gentle rain pattering your bodies, thoughts in your head. And now the knowledge that you've attracted the attention of an individual willing to hire hitmen to kill you. Northern Martorallo beckons. And that is where we're going to end the session for tonight. Let's go! Oh, boy. Goodbye, Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Gaius' Gaius neutrality has finally been broken. Goodbye, Austin. <laughs> Uh, you just got Geralt of Rivian. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Fuck. Episode 21. Talk. Except not Henry Cavill. <laughs> not uh, anymore. That's... Good session, you guys. Yeah. 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 Episode we 21. did it. After we I'm end the stream, I want to tell you, you. Something, f something funny about those guys. Or not funny, but just interesting. Funny hoo hoo ha ha, they're dead. More, more <laughs> just funny, like if you guys actually blitzed it all the way to Mattiamond, they would have attacked you in Mattiamond in your in your inn rooms, actually. Oh shit. Oh god. I had That'd maps be... for that, yeah. Oh. Well, this is episode 21. I'm sad. We don't get to do this for another 100 episodes. <laughs> Don't worry, the the funny number will return in the event. Episode 2000, 2,121. There's always Ravenloft episode 21. Yeah, that true. there you go. That is, that is true. Oh, all right. I'm gonna come back from Otho mode. Uh, <laughs> let's right. see. Uh, let's go around the horn and deintroduce ourselves. Deintroduce. Uh, yeah, Gaiju Google, where can they it. find you? And what are uh, you up to? Uh, showing mercy and compassion, apparently. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Gaiju Goomba. Uh, no H. Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. Central. Saturday, I'm playing Daikatana. Uh, because, uh, I'm sorry. Because chat willed it so with their kindness. Um, yay. After that, it's either going to be another build stream or possibly play some Dark Tide because I think I've got early access with it. Um... Yeah, also, please go check out my new video. Uh, if you are into 40K at all, uh, me and uh, another YouTube buddy of mine, Pancras No Work, spent 20 minutes breaking down how the Tao are absolutely not weeb or Japanese. They are actually more Chinese than anything. Um, although now it's now it's the Eldar that I think are Japanese, and God, that's gonna be another video on its own. <sighs> so yeah, it's it's gonna be fun all the way around. It's It's been a rough day, but this this felt good. This felt really good. Not gonna lie. Okay, that's me. Who right next? On. <laughs>
We've got uh, Mark Allen Jr. We're going to find you. What are you up to? When I'm not muting to sneeze, you can find me on Twitter <laughs> at Mark Allen Jr. Here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. And you can follow the, the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny on Instagram <laughs> at chonk for life uh, No streams this week still. Uh, I will try and be back to streaming next week. I appreciate your guys' patience and understanding. Uh, Saturday, check out a new episode of Blue Lock on Crunchyroll, the English dub. I play Kuan in that, and uh, you're going to get a healthy dose of him uh, for the next couple of episodes, I hear from a very reliable source, i.e. me. So go check it out, uh, especially if you like uh, anime where mundane everyday tasks suddenly become super powered and incredible and crazy cool. That's it for me. Right on. We've got Monty Glue. Where can they find you and what are you up to? Uh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, tomorrow will be more Dungeons and Mad Mage. So come and check that out. There is also a, um, the VODs are all on my YouTube as well. Monday might be Mass Effect. I'm waiting on some resources from Bracky, but Pokemon's coming out, so I, I don't know yeah. if that's going to affect that. He will be gone. <laughs> he might be gone. So the hope is that hopefully we can do that uh, this coming Monday, get started on that. And if not, it'll be Mario Kart. Uh, beyond that, uh, that's about it, actually. That's just it's just that. Right now, we got Zeno. We're going to do you with you. Thank you, Connor. Wow, you want to try that one again? <laughs> no, I, I actually have energy for this. You can find me after this stream literally going live because I'm good. I Pokemon's coming out on Friday, but I have been hyping up carts and Jabroni Brawl for like the past fucking three days, and Bratz ate that time. I'm making up for it. I want to stream. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck Bratz. I want to fucking play Jabroni Brawl and or carts, and that's happening right after this. Palette cleanser. The ultimate Excellent. palette cleanser. Egg salad. Uh, hey, Robosca, where can they find you, and what are you up to? You can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter and right here on twitch.tv slash Ed Bosco. Right on. Uh, and they can find me uh, at twitch.tv slash distortion devil, uh, Twitter, uh, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, and Tumblr at twitch at, at uh, uh, distortion devil. Uh, that's right. Also, the Unexpectables also has a Tumblr now for no reason in particular. Uh, it's the Unexpectables official at Tumblr. Uh, yes. And we also have a TikTok now, actually. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so fucking busy. <laughs> so many uh, things. Yeah. <laughs> In the words of horse ebooks, everything happens so much. Everything happens so much. All of the time. Uh. What was I saying? Reconnecting. Yeah, find me there. Um, yes. Uh, this episode is brought to you by Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice! That ambush by bounty hunters is brought to you in part by Die Hard Dice. Find uh. a one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. And if you head on over to dieharddice.com while I'm cracking this window, you can save 10% uh, on your order. When you shop at dieharddice.com, some of that money gets thrown back to us so we can keep making shows like this for you. Yeah. Christmas. Uh, Perfect Christmas. Gifts. Holy my, oh my God, it's Christmas. Oh my God, it's Christmas. What about Thanksgiving? That too. Well, if you're American. Yeah. American Thanksgiving. Yeah, Canada already had their thing. We already had ours. Yeah. yeah, but do you need an excuse for turkey and or goose? Goose? Yeah. I've mm. never eaten a goose before. It's it a lot of people in the UK do Christmas yes. goose. Christmas goose. <laughs> goose. Uh yeah, other than that, um I don't think there's any other announcements. So let's move on to our business. Business. Did we have a, a cutoff point from earlier? <sighs> Bosco? Buddy! I'll, I'll, I'll find yeah, it. I think he's I, 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 no, yeah, I'm dead. Um, 
<laughs> uh, I'm going through the Rolodex in my brain. I think there was a big 500-bit drop that we stopped on. 500 bits? There was, a, there was a gifted sub to LJ. Oh, yeah, LJ was a gifted sub. That was oh, cool. yeah. Uh, we've got Dippin' Bipples. Thank you for the uh, 15 months. Hi, everyone. I'm back. Welcome back. Dr. Yeah, calling, calling Dr. Bipples? Paging oh, Dr. Ripples. That's right, they were in uh, nursing school. Yeah, nursing school, yeah. 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 I hope, I that hope that's well. going well. I, You being gone makes a ton of sense if you were in nursing school. I had roommates Indeed. that were two, two of them were nurses, and I never saw them. They were always either in practicum, at school, or studying. Saki Doe, thank you for the 14 months. Brawl Kaiser, thank you for the raid. Uh, Travis Bloom, thank you for the nine months of Prime. That's odd. I subbed last week, got this notification now. Oh well, not looking a gift horse in the mouth. Been fun listening to this heavy conflict uh, session while writing a paper on how to manage conflict. Hmm. <laughs> That's a that oh, cool no. <sighs> Twisty the Kitty, thank you for the 32 months. Kale Ward, thank you for the 100 bits. Monty, I expect even more cartoonish posters as the bounty gets higher. Please! That was amazing. Like, I, I, I was half expecting, like, a Tony Tony Chopper scenario. <laughs> <laughs> and Gaius, I... their pet. He likes cotton candy. 25 cents. <laughs> I, I, the worst part about doing art is when you have to draw art shitty, you have to, like, go back and be like, no, it has to look worse. It has to be shittier. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Peril Noodle, thank you for the raid. Stellar Coyote, thank you for the 100 bits. Those wanted posters are actually the Doodle Bob versions of the new Unexpected. Oh no! Oh, fuck yeah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm an Iman. Uh, Shiny Lamp, thank you for the 32 months. Is the map okay? Oh yeah, yeah. I keep them it's waterproof. In, yeah, they're in tubes of safety. Mr. Insecure, thank you for the 500 bets. I can't believe the guy named Wormtongue turned out to be untrustworthy. <laughs> oh, no! Uh, Alpha Rabbit, thank you for the 100 bets. I was half paying attention. I thought you said Grimtongue. I got excited for no reason. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I'm retired. Uh, Man, tyrant the big Chaos. The whole time. Uh, yep, I'm Wormtongue. I changed my name again, baby. <laughs> uh, I love you guys time. being in the spotlight as the main characters. It's time to yeah. <laughs> No, it's only us forever. Uh, <laughs> Crit Scratch, thank you for the 10 bits. Episode title, Picture Perfect. Ah. Hey. <laughs> that was pretty, pretty good. good. Uh, Protoss 103, thank you for the 10 bits. It would have been really funny if while the party was talking, Walker just walked up and killed the guy. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like in his bird brain, you guys talk too much. I, I think I think if that had happened, I would have laughed harder than I did at Icewind Dale, where I nearly I, passed out. I probably would too, all things considered. Uh Tyrant Chaos, thank you for the 32 months. Hello, goodbye, going to the VODs. I Grim, thank you for the 28 months. Killer Chansey, thank you for the uh uh 10 bits. Episode title Walker Texas Danger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dippin' Bipples, thank you for the additional 100 bits. Hey, Monty, did you miss me? I missed you, Dippin' Bipples. I can't wait for, like, I don't know, be to fall off a roof or something and go to, the, like, the goddamn, like, hospital. And it's and just like, I recognize you. <laughs> this Dr. Bipples, yeah. Dr. Bipples? Dr. Bipples, you're real. <laughs> <laughs> Zen Lita, thank you for the 100 bits. Episode title, Birds in a Bush. I want to point out that whenever we talk about Dippin' Biffles, I always think of those Dippin' Dots. Yeah, and I just imagine too. a person yeah, with their, where their head, is, yes. where their head is just a bucket of, of um, Dippin' Dots, and that's who they are. I, I feel like my uh, my opinion will, will make some people look at me with ire, but I actually don't like Dippin' Dots all that much. I've no, never fine. had Dippin' oh, Dots. Oh, they're not that great. Yeah. They're, they're pretty yeah, chalky, like, actually. They're, they're, they are novelty at worst. Yeah, they're cool, but they're a gimmick. I prefer dibs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are awesome. Uh, Calum Drones, thank you for the 50 bits. Uh, Gaius, who drew this? Some guy named Wormtail. Does he take commissions? <laughs> <laughs> what, what's his going rate? 
<laughs> Dice Ruler, thank you for the 100 bits. Well, this was a heavy episode. I loved it. Kai and Otho were on fire tonight. And now their Hell tension yeah. in the party. Uh, I can't wait for next week. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. Goss21, thank you for the five bits. Milo pulls out the sun gun. I'm here to spread the word of Orin. It's Look. a flamethrower. Look, I'm trying not... He's trying so hard not to be a murder hobo, you know? Like, there's I, a, with great power comes great responsibility, damn it. Bro, I'm, I'm there with you. Like, again, guys literally just said, I'm not doing this for murder. I'm doing it for sport. Yeah. And I'm being forced to murder. Callum draws things for the 50 bits. Uh, episode title, Fractures Surfacing. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Dice Ruler, thank you for the 100 bits. I'd be mean to ask, what happened to Clifford the Big Gray Render? Oh, that was a while ago. Dude, we're, we're well past that. What was He's that? in the Underdark. He's fine. What did... Yeah. Oh. I, think I, I think I mentioned this too, but your mom actually like yeah, traveled with you Clifford did for a this. while. Yeah. That's why he liked me. That's why he liked you. Yeah. Uh, Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 100 bits. So one of the Axe Beaks is just a cassowary. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Goss 21, thank you for the five bits. Episode title, We Are Not Fighting the Axe Beaks. <laughs> and finally, from Dippin' Bipples, <laughs> thank you for the 100 bits. When money comes to the hospital, I will be wearing a bear mask. <laughs> <laughs> God damn you, Dippin' Beyond, Bipples. Beyond Finally, scared straight. Your, your greatest enemy becomes the one who saves your life. How will you handle this, Monty? Get, get Dr. Bipples, it's Dr. really you. Dr. Mm. Dr. We need no. to apply the anesthesia, puts on the bear mask. <laughs> <laughs> Someone in chat suggested uh, Cruel Mercy, and I kind of like that. I like that. Cruel Mercy is good, yeah. Speaking, I wrote, uh, that. I wrote it down. We'll decide. That's that's <laughs> all we got for bits right now. So I think we're uh, in, uh... I have a person we can raid. So we'll go for it's it. It's been a while. Theropod art. Oh hey. yeah. The Ropadar. The Ropadar. The Ropadar. Yeah. You want to raid Thrupadart? What would our raid message be? Oh man. Uh, that's a good question, Mega Man. Birds. Bird. <laughs> Bird. bird murder? Bird. No, just bird. A birder. Bird, bird is the word. Birder. Wait, he was in Dragon Ball. He was. Bird. <laughs> bird. That's, That's the reason he's my speed. super speed. All right, bird, bird violence, bird murder, and bird. Uh, Thero might be listening to the episode, so no spoilers, you guys. Definitely no spoilers. Just, yeah. just bird. We'll All know. Right. Go. The, the raid is now live. Go. Bye. Go. Get out go. of here. Be free. Get. Come on. Just get. go. Watch out for the axe beaks. Now I'm going to race. Get. Oh.